Chapter 2721 Wall of Ascension After two months, Long Chen had refined hundreds of giant pills, and the ordinary pills he had refined numbered in the hundreds of thousands. Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wan'er, and the others had poured their spiritual strength into Ling'er in order to help him refine pills. During this period, they had not cultivated at all. The pills that they had previously refined had essentially been used up by the Dragonblood Legion and the Mo family's disciples. If they didn't send more, the others would have to stop absorbing medicinal pills. However, with Long Chen gone, they didn't need to refine so crazily. One furnace of pills would be enough for the Dragonblood Legion to absorb for a day. Other than refining pills, they also started focusing on their own cultivation. Tang Wan'er in particular hadn't even had time to refine the divine bone. As Meng Qi and the others started focusing on their cultivation while still refining some pills, Long Chen entered the Yun Yang world along with the Dragonblood Legion. However, he was disguised and snuck in. The giant egg in that canyon had vanished. Long Chen then killed one of the blood race's chiefs and gathered one of his memories from a soul sark. It was a memory of a giant egg on an altar. That was the egg that Little Snow was in. Countless experts of the blood race were surrounding it, seemingly nourishing it with their bloodline power. This was the only useful image he saw, but it was enough. He was sure that Little Snow was fine. Those experts were all kneeling toward the egg with no malice. After that, he retreated out of the Yun Yang world and discussed things with Mo Nian and the others. They concluded that they would continue as they were. In any case, they had an unending stream of medicinal pills. They could use those to cultivate while they delayed their enemies from cultivating. Time was extremely important to the Martial Heaven continent. They had to hinder the Aldevil Heaven Walker, the Blood Fiend Devil Lord, Yi Ying, the Nine-Headed Lion, and the others from becoming sovereigns. Mo Nian told Long Chen not to worry about them. They had four supreme divine items, so there was no danger to them, nor were they being reckless. They used medicinal pills to cultivate, and then when the time was right, they would take a stroll throughout the other worlds. Their enemies seemed to have admitted defeat. As long as Mo Nian and the others didn't charge into the depths, the invaders simply allowed them to disturb the laws of the world. They no longer bothered facing them directly. Instead, they simply accepted that everyone's cultivation speed would be slowed. In the end, they still had an absolute advantage. So there was no need to bother with Mo Nian and the others. When Long Chen asked about Yun Tian, he found that no one knew where he was. It was as if he had vanished. On the other hand, Hu Feng had told them that he was in seclusion. His gambling heavenly Tao inheritance was different from other inheritances, and he needed to enter peaceful seclusion. When the final battle came, he would come out. Yun Tian was gone without a trace. It was unknown if he was in seclusion or doing something else. After learning this, Long Chen said a few words to Mo Nian and then left to see the high priest in the Wine God Palace. The high priest was still the same tranquil, composed elder as before. It seemed the prospect of impending doom didn't bother him. The high priest is quite refined, praised Long Chen. Refined? No. The high priest shook his head. This is intoxication, an intoxication that cannot be extricated from. Come, sit. Long Chen slowly sat before the high priest. The high priest took out a small jug of wine and poured a cup for Long Chen, pushing it toward him. Your cultivation base hasn't changed at all. It seems that you've been busy, said the high priest. Long Chen took a sip of the wine and instantly felt a wave of relaxation go through his body. Heavenly Tao energy blossomed within his chest. It was as if this one sip of wine contained all of heaven and earth, giving endless enlightenment. After exclaiming in admiration over the wine, Long Chen said, Yes, disciple has been busy refining pills. However, honing a blade is not a waste of time. I've come to ask senior some questions. Do you know any secrets regarding the Eastern Wasteland Bell? I am currently searching for it, but I have no leads. Long Chen was a bit vexed. He had taken out the fragment of the Eastern Wasteland Bell to see if he could use it, but he was unable to cause any reaction to come out of it. He had even asked the Central Plains Cauldron and the Western Desert Axe, but neither of them had any methods. They were also unable to sense the Eastern Wasteland Bell. 
Long Chen had a kind of bad feeling when it came to the heaven devastating bracelet below the martial heaven sea ring. Although the sea demon race had mostly been wiped out, the heaven devastating bracelet remained a tumor on the continent. The Central Plains Cauldron had told him that the heaven devastating bracelet was also recovering. Even if the four supreme divine items joined forces, they might not be able to destroy the heaven devastating bracelet. Furthermore, even if they could, they themselves would be too badly damaged to help with the rest of the Dark Era. Without them, the Martial Heaven Continent would have no divine items to stop their enemies' world divine items. With no other options, Long Chen came to the High Priest. The High Priest sipped his wine. After that, he slowly put down the cup and looked at Long Chen. I don't know that much about the Martial Heaven Continent, especially the five supreme divine items. The reason I fully support you is because the wine god sent down an edict ordering the wine god palace to do everything to help you. Then does that mean that the wine god can help us? Asked Long Chen. You still don't understand. The gods are not on the same spatial plane as us. They are on a higher plane, unable to descend to our world. This world can only be ascended from but not descended to. Just sending down a simple edict requires paying a huge price as the wall of ascension blocks all things coming from a higher plane. If a god wished to descend to the mortal world, it would either destroy the mortal world, or the god would be suppressed by the wall of ascension. As the core of a star field, it is even more difficult for a god to send an edict here. The chances of success definitely do not exceed 10%. The wall of ascension? It will even suppress gods? How is that possible? asked Long Chen. The wall of ascension can be passed through from our side, but then there is no coming back. The gods might send down hundreds or thousands of messages, but only one or two will pass through the wall of ascension. Those messages are all extremely weak and can only be received by their divine statues. We can receive those messages, but we don't have the means to transmit information back to the gods. Of course, there are differences among gods. Some are stronger and some are weaker. Perhaps the stronger gods can do so. For example, Pill Valley's Lord Brahma and Fallen Day Knight. That is why you must be careful of Pill Valley's Yu Kingsuan. Perhaps she has the ability to call a god to possess her body. The high priest's expression suddenly became serious. Even he felt a sense of danger when it came to Yu Kingsuan. Chapter 2722 No belief How much do you know about Lord Brahma and Fallen Day Knight? Asked Long Chen. Long Chen was extremely curious about these two gods. Why was it that he felt such dislike for these two gods? No, it should be called a kind of hatred instead. He wasn't sure if this hatred came from the Pill Sovereign Memories or the Nine Star Hegemon Body Art, or perhaps it came from himself. What anyone knows about Lord Brahma and Fallen Day Knight comes from Pill Valley's inheritance. According to Pill Valley's sacred texts, Lord Brahma created the Tao of the Pill Flame, while Fallen Day Knight created the Tao of Forging Furnaces. One is a master of all flames, cultivating pill refining arts. One is a master of forging, creating pill furnaces and pill cauldrons. With one refiner and one forger, they are called the masters of the Pill Tao. Without them, there would be no Pill Tao, said the High Priest. What absolute crap! Those words came out of Long Chen's mouth before he even thought about it. He hastily apologized. Sorry, I wasn't talking about you but the crap in Pill Valley's sacred texts. The high priest simply smiled faintly, looking at him with interest. It seems that you have your own opinion. Let me hear it. I wouldn't call it an opinion. These two fellows are simply shameless. They couldn't possibly be the masters of the Pill Tao, said Long Chen scornfully. And why is that? asked the high priest. This is just like the philosophical question that perplexes people. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Let's avoid wondering whether it was the chicken or the egg for now. It is impossible for either to appear without some cause. There had to be something that existed before them, or there would be no chicken or egg. That existence is the ancestor of all deos, the source of all things. Just ask yourself, where do gods come from? They didn't jump out of a rock. Cough. I'm referring to those two fellows, not the wine god. Long Chen once more apologized as he felt such words were a kind of offense to someone with such devotion to a god. However, the high priest brushed him off. 
indicating for him to go on. The source of all things, which existed before gods, is primal chaos. The heavenly deos evolved, manifesting all life, giving rise to spirits and intelligence. Although I don't know the true source of the pill Tao, it is impossible for someone to be born knowing how to refine pills or forge items. The most primitive form of the pill Tao was most likely boiling food. There was a flame and a pot. The fire burned and the stove heated up. Later on, it began to evolve. The flames began to be classified, and the pot began to evolve into countless shapes, cauldrons, furnaces, stoves, etc. In the earliest stages, they were used to boil things. Although I don't know how exactly the pill Tao came to be, it definitely was not created by the two of them. And how can you be so sure of that? Asked the high priest. Long Chen confidently said, First, any expert who is capable of comprehending the pill Tao must be someone with great intellect. Such a person knows that they are standing on the shoulders of countless ancestors who developed the pill Tao to its current state. Even if they were to admit that they are the earliest ancestor of the pill Tao, they would not be so arrogant to say that without them, there would be no pill Tao. That is because even without them, the pill Tao would still be developed. For Lord Brahma and Fallen Danai to claim themselves to be the masters of the pill Tao, that without them there would be no pill Tao, is absolute nonsense. Those are definitely not the words of someone with the intellect required to create the pill Tao that has some logic behind it. Then what is the second reason? The second reason is even more obvious. One controlled fire. One created furnaces. What the hell does that have to do with the pill Tao? If I were to make a comparison, one chopped wood for burning, and one made a stove, then the two of them met each other. Could they possibly instantly create a way to make delicious food and call themselves the chef god? Perhaps only those fools in Pill Valley would believe such nonsense. As for me. I wouldn't believe it even if I was beaten to death. Those two are definitely scammers, said Long Chen. At first, the high priest was simply smiling and rather indifferent. However, when he heard this second point, he was finally moved. Due to being a follower of a god, he had never had any doubts toward gods. He fully believed everything about the wine god. However, this analysis and tear down of Lord Brahma and Fallen Danai truly made him feel suspicious. That was because the wine god palace also had some sacred texts. The wine god had tasted all the grains of life, climbed the myriad mountains, and overlooked the seas and rivers of the world, all in search of the natural Tao. In the end, the wine god happened to be enlightened in a farmer's house and began trying the Tao of making wine. The wine god had never claimed himself to be the ancestor of the wine Tao. The wine Tao did not exist because of the wine god. It was the wine god who existed because of the wine Tao. The wine god said that he could become the wine god because of the guidance of the heavenly Deos. It was fate. As for those that had given him his enlightenment, he called them his masters. Just as Long Chen said, he knew that he stood on the shoulders of those that came before him and had respect and gratitude for them. I don't know why, but the first time I saw the statues of Lord Brahma and Fallen Day Night, I felt particularly disgusted with them. I even peed on their statues, said Long Chen. The high priest was astonished. He had not thought that Long Chen would dare to do such a blasphemous thing. Whether you are right or wrong, Lord Brahma and Fallen Danai truly possess terrifying power as gods. Perhaps in the entire martial heaven continent, only Pill Valley possesses the power to reach through the wall of ascension and absorb the power of their gods to support themselves. That is the most terrifying thing. The high priest had said that the wine god could not send his power to support the martial heaven continent, but Pill Valley was capable of it. That indicated that there were differences even amongst gods. Disciple understands. I will be careful, said Long Chen. Of the martial heaven continent's god inheritances, the killing god's inheritance is still present but has been suppressed by you to the point that it does not dare to appear again. As for the corrupt god's inheritance, it has completely vanished, said the high priest. What Ji Ming has thrown himself to the undying race, so the entire corrupt path has been offered as a sacrifice to the undying race. That was a plot that the undying race set into motion ages ago by the time of Ji Ming's previous life. Ji Ming's death eyes were the seed. In his current life, he stole the entire inheritance of the corrupt god. 
As a result, the corrupt God's doctrine has ended on the continent Long Chen's heart jumped. The undying race was truly vicious. They had actually devoured the inheritance of the corrupt God. No wonder the corrupt path's disciples had never appeared after resentful death city was opened. So they had all been sacrificed. When it comes to the eastern wasteland bell, you'll need to rely on yourself. I know of nothing that can help you, but you don't need to be impatient. The eastern wasteland bell is the leader of the five supreme divine items. Its very life is deeply connected to the martial heaven continent. It should appear, comforted the high priest. Suddenly, a light sound came from a jade plate on Long Chen's waist. Startled, he checked it and hastily bid farewell to the high priest. After that, he rushed to the elusive music immortal palace. It was Zi Yan who had sent him a request for aid. Chapter 2723 Zither Soul Upon arriving at the elusive music immortal palace, Long Chen saw that all its experts were gathered in its main palace. Long Chen, Zi Yan immediately welcomed him, introducing him to some of the elusive music immortal palace's experts other than the music master. What Long Chen hadn't expected was that there were thousands of senior experts from the elusive music immortal palace, all in the mid-heaven merging realm and above. There were even quite a few late heaven merging experts. Zi Yan gave particular introductions to some experts that could be classified as living fossils, existences with even greater seniority than the music master. Due to the transcendent position of the elusive music immortal palace, they had no need for that many experts standing guard. As a result, successive generations of experts had sealed themselves, all to come out at this moment. These living fossils didn't reveal much emotion to Long Chen, but he could see a touch of coldness in their eyes. Long Chen's expression also wasn't very good in response. Were they putting on airs in front of him? If it weren't for giving Zi Yan face, he would definitely have left at that moment. He felt like there was something wrong with these people's heads. Zi Yan noticed his reaction and stealthily transmitted to him some information to explain the cause of their coldness. In the past, the masters of the elusive music Immortal Palace had to retain their pure bodies. This did not just refer to physically but also spiritually. While Zi Yan had never done anything with Long Chen, her heart had long since been bound to Long Chen. That was already a violation of their ancestral teachings. Although the music master had said that these times were not normal and they couldn't ask too much of Zi Yan, some of those old timers were stubborn and did not accept such reasoning. Due to this, the music master had even gone directly against some old timers, turning hostile just to suppress this matter. Naturally, those old timers wouldn't give Long Chen a smile upon seeing him. Thinking about this, Long Chen sighed. In the beginning, Zi Yan had thought that he was her devil star and the elusive music immortal palace had forced her to try killing him. It was all for the position of palace master. Although he could understand things, the malice deep in these people's eyes seemed off to Long Chen. Long Chen, I have finally found the reason why the southern sea zither refuses to acknowledge a master, said Zi Yan directly to redirect things. Really Long Chen was delighted to hear that, of the four supreme divine items that they had. Only the Southern Sea Zither had failed to acknowledge a master. If it did, Zi Yan would naturally get stronger, and the power of the four divine items combined would be unimaginable. Yes, really. In the ancient battle back then, the Southern Sea Zither lost one of its Zither souls, so it is no longer complete. Just yesterday, I entered the ancient battlefield and sensed a strange fluctuation from the Southern Sea Zither. I reported this to the music master and the music master the music master stood. Let me explain it. The southern sea zither lost one of its zither souls, so it cannot acknowledge a master. That zither soul is in the depths of the ancient battlefield. However, we are unclear about where exactly in the ancient battlefield it is. We can only let Zi Yan go into the ancient battlefield with the southern sea zither to search for it. As long as we find the zither soul, the southern sea zither will fully recover and acknowledging a master will be simple. However, the problem is how to enter so deep into the ancient battlefield and take the zither soul without the demonic beast race noticing. A forceful attack is definitely no good, so we can only sneak in. And since it must be done stealthily, we can't use numbers. Zi Yan wanted to go in by herself, 
but we felt it to be too dangerous. There need to be at least two people to look after each other. Zi Yan didn't wish to bother you, but we forced her. If she has no one to accompany her, we will not allow her to take such a risk. After all, she is the hope of the entire elusive music immortal palace and the hope of the martial heaven continent. She cannot be lost. Long Chen nodded. Of course. I will be the second person. I'll accompany her. Then you should go quickly to avoid anything unexpected arising. Said an old crone suddenly. Long Chen glanced at her. She had a sharp chin and faint eyebrows. There was an indescribable expression in her eyes. In Long Chen's words, this was no good egg. He didn't know if it was because they had been buried in the earth for too long. But these old timers all had ill expressions. Making Long Chen feel uncomfortable. The junior generation of the elusive music immortal palace were all beautiful and refined. Charming and graceful. Just looking at them made people relax. But these old experts lacked that refinement. This matter is extremely important. We cannot be sloppy. We'll need to come up with a plan first. Said Long Chen. Of course he couldn't enter just like this. He had just finished refining pills and had yet to use them to advance. At the very least, he needed a few days to increase his realm a bit. For the two of them to sneak into the ancient battlefield, the heart of the demonic beast race, was incredibly dangerous. One mistake and they would leave their lives there. So Long Chen naturally had to make his preparations. Senior, it seems that you very impatient asked Long Chen staring at the old crone. Upon hearing this, her expression darkened and she barked. How can I not be impatient? This relates to shut up. The music master's expression sank. Shut your mouth. The old crone fell silent. It seemed that her seniority was extremely high though. So she turned and left. Once she was gone, the music master turned to Long Chen. My apologies. Elder Song has always been very dissatisfied with Zi Yan's matter. I will apologize on her behalf to you. It's fine. Junior can understand. But some things cannot be solved by rushing. They must be taken step by step. We no longer have the slightest leeway. So we cannot be careless. Said Long Chen. I understand. Elder Song is being unreasonable. It's just that she's been sealed for too long. And perhaps she. Well. Anyway. I hope you can understand. The music master pointed to her head indicating that the old crone's head was perhaps no longer flexible, hoping that Long Chen wouldn't be the same way. Long Chen naturally didn't quibble with her over this matter. The music master arranged a palace for Long Chen to rest for a few days, but Long Chen declined. He then found an excuse to leave, saying that he needed to make a plan. They had to maintain their current deadlock. After that, he left with Zi Yan. All those old experts of yours want to kill me. Once they found a secluded place, Long Chen suddenly came to a stop and turned to Zi Yan. What? No. Although they don't like you, they shouldn't want to kill you. Are you overthinking things? Zi Yan was extremely startled. Chapter 2724 Sentient Shoehorns Long Chen shook his head. It might be hard to hear, but I'm not going to skirt around it. I'm unable to understand why your senior experts all look like shoehorns that gained sentience. They all look like they have a permanent scowl on their donkey faces. If they weren't with you, I really would have trouble believing they also came from the elusive music immortal palace. What do you mean? Sentient shoehorns? They. That really is rude. Zi Yan glared at Long Chen. Although they look fierce, that's because they've fought against invaders several times. They've killed so many of them that they accumulated darker auras. If they used the music Tao to suppress those auras it would suppress their realms as well. That's why they chose to seal themselves is that really true? Asked Long Chen. How could it not be? Would I trick you? Zi Yan was starting to grow angry. Well, I really dislike them. Even if it is to protect the martial heaven continent, I don't like it. I'm not going back to the elusive music immortal palace. My temper's not good, and I don't want to embarrass you, said Long Chen. Long Chen had gotten enough of the elusive music immortal palace with this one visit. If it weren't for Zi Yan, he wouldn't have visited them at all. I know. I don't like them either. When they speak, they always seem peculiar. It's not comfortable. But they're my elders. So I'm not in a good spot to contradict them. Once the dark era is over, 
I will leave the elusive music immortal palace, said Zi Yan. Why? Where will you go? asked Long Chen. Zi Yan blushed and glared at him. Why? Do you think the world isn't big enough for me to find a home? Long Chen almost slapped himself. He really had been stupid lately. Zi Yan was clearly saying that she would join him, and he just had to ask such a question. All right, let's not talk about that, said Zi Yan. You said you need to prepare. Prepare what you've reached the fifth heaven stage so quickly. Long Chen suddenly noticed that Zi Yan's aura was strangely heavy. Zi Yan smiled. The foundation that the elusive music immortal palace has been building for tens of thousands of years has all been thrown my way. How can my cultivation speed not be fast? Due to cultivating the music Tao, the past ancestors transmitted their life's energy into the heavenly music stone just before their deaths. Although that heavenly music stone cannot allow me to advance, being enveloped by it all day makes my bottlenecks very easy to break through. My seniors already paved the path for me just for this tribulation although Zi Yan had been fighting with the Dragonblood Legion against their enemies during this time. It wasn't every day. Normally, she would participate in one sneak attack and then rest for a few days. During those few days, she would immerse herself in the elusive music Immortal Palace's heavenly music stone. That was why her rate of advancement was terrifyingly fast. Is such a rapid advancement really all right for you? asked Long Chen. Although Zi Yan's aura was powerful, they also were not as stable as they should be. That was the result of such a rapid advancement. At this rate, when she reached the ninth heaven stage, her foundation would definitely show serious signs of being unstable. That was not a good thing. If it was someone else, then fine. After all, with the battle for the continent at hand, they couldn't care too much about such things. But this was Zi Yan one of the pillars of the martial heaven continent. She still had a long way to go. During his visit to the Wine God Palace, Long Chen had learned more about the heaven merging realm. There were still the early, mid, and late stages for the first to third heaven stages, the fourth to sixth heaven stages, and the seventh to ninth heaven stages. Moreover, there were further heaven stages within his realm. The tenth heaven stage was called the Venerate Realm the realm that the Divine Family's Lord Venerate was in. The eleventh heaven stage was the Saint Realm, the level of that Lord Saint. That realm was currently the peak of this world. The twelfth heaven stage was the Emperor Realm. Three and a half people in the Martial Heaven Continent had reached this realm. The Peng Emperor, the Blood Emperor, and the Corrupt Emperor. As for the Stone Races Shai Changsheng, although his cultivation base was at the very pinnacle of the Saint Realm, in the end, he could only count as a half-step emperor. Thus the stone emperor's name was self-proclaimed. As for the thirteenth heaven stage, that was the sovereign realm, the ultimate limit of this mortal world. Throughout all of history, only five people had reached this realm, the realm where they looked down upon the world of mortal dust. When Long Chen heard this explanation from the high priest, he was deeply shaken. If the thirteenth heaven stage of the heaven merging realm was the sovereign realm, didn't that mean that he didn't need any karmic lock? He would still be able to reach this realm because the nine star hegemon body art had 13 heaven stages in every realm. After hearing that, Long Chen grew much more at ease. Who cared about the world's karmic luck turning him into a sovereign? He didn't need that. He could just cultivate normally. This was also why Long Chen felt that it was not good for Zi Yan's aura to already show some bad signs at the fifth heaven stage. If this continued, her cultivation base would solidify around the ninth heaven stage. If that happened, it would not be worth it. Zi Yan smiled. The music master and the others also told me this. But have you forgotten about the southern sea zither? As long as I become its master, this problem will be gone instantly. Don't worry about me. But as for you, Long Chen's cultivation base was still at the first heaven stage because he had been refining pills this entire time. When he had tried to cultivate, he was startled to find that his body was no longer able to absorb heavenly Tao energy. That was because as soon as the heavenly Tao energy entered his body, it was erased by the power of his 108,000 astral spaces. He had then tried to consume some demonic heaven merging pills and was comforted to find that its effect was truly amazing. He could cultivate through pills. That was why Long Chen hadn't wasted any time while refining pills. 
That's why I need a few days. Protect me while I increase my realm, said Long Chen. Right here? Why not in the elusive music immortal palace? Asked Zi Yan. Those old fellows are really dislikable. If I went into seclusion there, it might give me a heart devil. Joked Long Chen. Bah, don't talk nonsense, said Zi Yan. He was practically jinxing himself by saying that. Long Chen laughed and then set up a few formations prepared by Xia Chen. This would prevent anyone from peeping. With Zi Yan to protect him, Long Chen took out a demonic heaven merging pill. He was about to stuff it into his mouth when Evil Moon suddenly spoke. Long Chen, think carefully about this. These pills are very evil. Whether it's a blessing or calamity, no one can say. Chapter 2725 The Terror of Demonic Pills Dragonbone Evil Moon Its name already had the word evil in it. In truth, it was truly a dark and sinister existence. Before Sovereign Yun Shang refined it into a weapon, it was unknown how many life forms it had killed. Its life was focused on cultivation, and its cultivation was done through slaughter. The dark evil dragon race was an evil existence, and precisely due to that, they were also very sensitive to other things of similar nature. Evil Moon had not brought up anything before about Long Chen refining and consuming demonic pills. However, this time, it had a bad feeling toward these demonic heaven merging pills. It had told him not to refine these demonic pills and instead use the moon and star refining furnace to refine the normal pill. Although the effect was a bit lacking, it was much steadier. However, in the end, Long Chen was still using demonic pills with large, and known side effects. So Evil Moon couldn't help warning him one last time. I know, but I have no other choice. Long Chen shook his head. No one in this world had any choices any longer. In order to raise his cultivation base, Long Chen couldn't bother with side effects. It was unknown how many geniuses were sacrificing their futures just to increase their cultivation bases as high as possible for the upcoming battle. Their futures were sacrificed, and he was no exception. Hearing this, Evil Moon sighed and didn't say anything else. Then Long Chen popped a demonic pill into his mouth. At this moment, Long Chen sat lotus style in the air. His body rumbled as if terrifying experts were fighting. The space around Long Chen began to explode, spreading large fluctuations that distorted the laws of heaven and earth. Zi Yan was shocked to see this and took out the southern sea zither to prevent anyone from possibly disturbing him at this critical moment. As Long Chen began digesting the power of the demonic pill, shadows that looked like tentacles appeared around him, connecting him to the void. Those dark shadows possessed a frightening evil energy. It was as if they were roots squirming into the heavens. Zi Yan covered her mouth at the sight of those countless black tentacles. She had never seen Long Chen in such a state. Suddenly, the southern sea zither spoke to her. A demonic pill possesses nefarious energy. It is something that exists outside laws. No one can say whether or not such power is good or bad. But one thing is certain. With this power... Long Chen's cultivation speed will be astonishing. It's just that. Senior, what is it? Asked Zi Yan. It's just that this world doesn't have so many shortcuts. If you walk a shortcut, you might have to pay an immense price. However, none of you have any other paths to choose from. If you don't rapidly advance, once the other worlds birth sovereigns, the martial heaven continent will be destroyed, said the southern sea zither. Boom. Just at that moment. A terrifying aura exploded. Zi Yan jumped, and a wave of divine light came from the southern sea zither, wrapping around her. However, a huge force blasted this defense apart, sending her flying. So fast, in just a short moment, with just three pills, Long Chen had advanced to the second heaven stitch. Long Chen is using the quickest, most violent way of advancing. This will waste a bit of the medicinal energy and force his body through a backlash. Most likely, only someone with a powerful physical body like him would be capable of doing such a thing. Someone else's body would have exploded, said the southern sea zither its divine light seemingly seeing through Long Chen. It's for me. Otherwise, he wouldn't be in such a rush. Zi Yan suddenly felt uneasy. She didn't know if this would affect Long Chen's future. If a problem occurred in his future because of such rapid advancement. She would feel guilty for a lifetime. Zi Yan, I have a question for you. 
If Long Chen suddenly tricks you, what will you do? Asked the Southern Sea Zither out of nowhere. Trick me? Why would he do that? He doesn't do that, said Zi Yan. I'm asking you if he tricks you. Will you hate him? Will you kill him? Senior, why would you suddenly ask me such a thing? Asked Zi Yan. First answer my question, said the Southern Sea Zither sternly. If he has to trick me, then fine. He is my life's faded devil star. I chose him. That means that I've abandoned all defenses toward him. I've entrusted my life to him. No matter what he does to me, I won't hate him. Even if he raises his blade and kills me, I won't hate him. I will believe in him with my full heart, said Zi Yan. At this moment, more and more black tentacles were stretching out of Long Chen's back and reaching into the heavens. Long Chen seemed like a devil king absorbing the energy of the world. However, his expression was still calm. That determined face gave her a sense of safety, as if even if the heavens collapsed, Long Chen would hold them up. Love is a double-sided mirror. You both invest in each other and gain from each other. You love him deeply, and he loves you deeply. I'm at ease like this, said the southern sea zither, seemingly talking to itself but also giving vague directions. Boom. Before Zi Yan could reply, another explosion rocked this land. At this moment, Long Chen's aura explosively rose to the third heaven stage. It had been less than an incense stick's worth of time. The tentacle shuddered, tearing through the void, slicing apart the laws of the heavenly deos. At the same time, an ear-piercing screech rang out. Why is Long Chen's cultivation art so different from everyone else's? Does he cultivate entirely based on medicinal pills? Does he have to merge with the heavenly deos? exclaimed Zi Yan. The southern sea zither said. The energy inside his body is rejected by the heavenly deos, and there's no way to mix them. This cultivation technique does not belong to the martial heaven continent. He was previously able to absorb the energy of the heavenly deos, but now his power is too great, resulting in a fierce expulsion between the two. Long Chen's power cannot suppress the laws of the martial heaven continent, and the laws of the martial heaven continent are unable to suppress him either. Long Chen's cultivation technique automatically resists them. As his realm increases, the rejection grows as well. So the resulting phenomenon also grows more terrifying just as it said. As Long Chen continued consuming medicinal pills, the spatial fluctuations erupting around him grew more intense. After two hours, another explosion rocked the land, and the laws began to explode. Long Chen advanced to the fourth heaven stage. Upon reaching the fourth heaven stage, he finished eating this batch of medicinal pills and began to eat giant pills. When the first giant pill entered his stomach, the black tentacle sharply increased. They looked like a fiend brandishing its limbs, attempting to escape some kind of binding. That sight made Zi Yan's heart shudder. The only thing that comforted her was that no matter how frightening the phenomenon Long Chen was causing, his expression was completely unperturbed. Finally, after three days, Long Chen's aura exploded, causing the stars to shake. He had advanced all the way to the seventh heaven stage of heaven merging. After that, Long Chen slowly opened his eyes. He spat out a mouthful of turbid air and then suddenly punched the air. Chapter 2726 Changing the Nine Stars The Void shuddered slightly, startling Zi Yan. Long Chen's attack shouldn't only cause such a tiny disturbance. Boom. Suddenly. The void exploded, and a giant vortex of raging heavenly Tao energy appeared, not dissipating for a long time. Heaven merging? Merging oneself into the heavenly deos like a tiger in the forest, like a dragon in the sea. But unfortunately, I am unable to merge into this world. He, but that's all right. As long as I myself have enough power, why would I need to merge with something else? Long Chen clenched his fist, feeling endless power within his body. As his cultivation base advanced, the 108,000 stars in his body began to evolve, manifesting their own deos and laws. Every star was its own world, creating its own heavenly Tao. It was their power that merged within his body. As his power grew, he grew more incompatible with the energy of the martial heaven continent's heavenly deos. That punch he had unleashed just now was to test whether or not he could merge with the power of the heavenly deos. He found that his power was rejected, but that was within expectations. After reaching the seventh heaven stage, 
the 108,000 stars in his body hadn't grown bigger, but they had transformed. They were developing, thrumming with life. He could sense earth, water, fire, and wind energies within every star. Although they were still at a very weak level, he could definitely sense them. Earth, water, fire, and wind were said to be the four major elements upon which the world was built. With them present, it meant that every star had its own life and would continue to develop on its own. With their own life, they also had an unending stream of energy. As they grew stronger, Long Chen also grew stronger, and he would no longer need to rely on the power of the Martial Heaven Continent. Long Chen, you advanced so quickly. Will that? Zi Yan looked at Long Chen worriedly. Long Chen's aura was incredibly heavy. He still couldn't control his new power. It's fine. I've thought about my path. Now that I've finished advancing, I need to get accustomed to it. I'll need to stabilize my aura, or I won't be able to sneak into the ancient battlefield, said Long Chen. His aura was constantly leaking, and it was like a lantern in the night sky. He would probably be sensed the instant he entered the ancient battlefield. Long Chen suddenly summoned his divine ring. Six stars revolved within it, and his six-star battle armor appeared. After that, Long Chen formed hand seals, and the space behind him shuddered intensely. As the six stars in his divine ring quivered, the land exploded. What are you doing? shouted Evil Moon. Long Chen suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood, frightening Zi Yan. She didn't understand what Long Chen was doing. Why had he summoned the six star battle armor? And why would he cough up blood? You're crazy. You want to change their orbit, shouted Evil Moon. The six stars quivered as they gradually left their original positions. The nine-star hegemon body art is an incredibly terrifying technique, but it's weak now. Something must be wrong with how I cultivated it. After all, I had no guidance with its cultivation, so I might have done something wrong. Just like with the heaven-splitting divine sect, they needed the guidance of the heaven-splitting divine tablet in order to train in the true ninth form of split the heavens. With one wrong step, every step afterward is wrong leading me further and further away from the original path. Now that I'm already so far off, no one knows what my future path will look like. Thus, I should cultivate according to my own heart. This nine-star hegemon body art will henceforth belong to me. It will be controlled by me. Long Chen once more coughed up a mouthful of blood, but he gritted his teeth and continued trying to control the six stars. The power of his 108,000 astral spaces flowed out forming a strange connection with the six stars. Only the power of these astral spaces was capable of moving the six stars. At this moment, Long Chen's body was shaking. In front of Zi Yan's shocked gaze, the six stars gradually left their original locations. Originally, they were connected into a six-sided star. This six-sided star was then broken. Three stars moved forward, and three stars moved back. Long Chen's eyes were closed tightly. Today. He was taking a huge risk. This was the result of countless studies and analyses that he had conducted based on the techniques of the five sovereigns. That led him to a moment of enlightenment. The sovereigns had all walked their own paths. So he had to walk his own path as well. If the sovereigns were capable of it, then he had to be capable as well. The three stars at the front shuddered. They were the Feng Fu star, the Life Fate star, and the Divine Gate star. Right now. The Feng Fu star unleashed a ray of divine light at the Life Fate star. The Life Fate star then received this light and emitted it at the Divine Gate star, which then sent the light back to the Feng Fu star. The three stars formed their own triangle, an endless loop of their power. The Tao gave birth to one, one gave birth to two, two gave birth to three, and three gave birth to all things. This is the true Grand Tao. It applies to all things. Long Chen finally smiled. This was also the law that the sovereigns complied with. It was something that could be vaguely sensed at the base of countless techniques. The sovereigns had based their techniques around this. And now Long Chen had done the same. The three stars at the back did the same thing. The Aelif star, the Enlightenment Palace star, and the Nethergate star formed their own triangle of divine light. The six stars had now been broken out of their six-sided shape into two triangles. You. You actually succeeded Evil Moon's voice quivered. This new nine-star hegemon body art coincided with the principles of the heavenly deos. 
It was incomparably marvelous, perhaps even more so than the dark evil dragon race's inherited divine abilities. It's thanks to the sovereigns. Without their enlightenment, I wouldn't have been able to do this. Before this, three colors of the six-color divine ring flowed forward, and three flowed back. However, the positions of the six stars didn't change. As a result, there was no way for the power of all six stars to perfectly merge. That's why I'm sure that I cultivated it wrong. Only when all their power is fully merged can they unleash their full power. That is the power that the nine-star hegemon body art should originally have, said Long Chen. Suddenly, the two triangles began to spin within his divine ring. One spun clockwise, and the other spun counterclockwise. At that moment, the world became silent, as if all sound had vanished. An indescribable power seemed to freeze all the laws of the entire world. The critical moment comes now. Success or failure depends on this. Novaloon.com Long Chen clenched his teeth, and suddenly the two triangles superimposed. In that instant, all color vanished from heaven and earth. Chapter 2727 Failure Boom When the two triangles pressed against each other, the divine ring suddenly crumbled. After that, the world darkened and berserk power engulfed the heavens. The next moment, fragments of spastime flew through the air, and a massive black hole appeared. Long Chen coughed up a mouthful of blood and flew out like a shooting star. Long Chen, Zi Yan cried out and shot after him. Long Chen's body crashed through countless mountains before he smashed into a solid cliff. Cracks spread throughout the cliff, and Long Chen's body was stuck inside. By the time Zi Yan reached him, he was already unconscious. His clothes had been destroyed, and his body was covered in countless cracks like porcelain on the verge of exploding. Zi Yan reached out to pull him out of the cliff and help him heal when Evil Moon's voice rang out. You can't touch him. He almost died. If you move him, it will worsen his injuries then what am I supposed to do? Zi Yan began to panic. Long Chen's current state was extremely alarming. His aura was almost imperceptibly weak. Just now, things had been going well. Why had it suddenly ended in failure? It had come suddenly, without any warning. Long Chen's skeleton has shattered, and his meridians have exploded. His current position is the best for his recovery. Don't worry, his life won't end here. However, he might need some time to recover and probably won't be able to immediately enter the ancient battlefield with you to search for the Zither Soul, said Evil Moon. Hearing that Long Chen's life wasn't in danger, Zi Yan sighed with relief. Long Chen's current appearance was truly worrisome. Zi Yan then protected Long Chen in his critical state. Seven days later, her jade plate flashed. A message came, asking her when she would go search for the Zither Soul. Zi Yan ignored it. When it began to repeatedly flash, Zi Yan directly turned it off. With Long Chen in this state, she was in no mood to care about the Zither Soul. It was a full ten days before Long Chen woke up. As soon as he did, sharp pain tore at him causing him to let out a pained groan. It was too painful. It wasn't just his flesh that was torn apart. Even his bones were crushed. It was as if his soul had been torn apart. Zi Yan hastily sent her spiritual strength into his body to help nourish his soul. Only now did she find that his soul was incredibly damaged. Anyone else's soul would have dissipated from such an injury. Seeing him wake up made her happy, but it also tore at her heart to see him in such pain. Without realizing it, two streams of tears fell. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you worry, said Long Chen. Zi Yan shook her head. It was my fault. I shouldn't have asked you for help. I can do it myself. Zi Yan blamed herself for this. Due to how dangerous their mission was this time, Long Chen had taken the risk to change his cultivation technique, almost losing his life. Foolish girl, what nonsense are you spouting? Even if you hadn't come to find me, I would still have to do this. It has nothing to do with you, said Long Chen. With Zi Yan's help, the pain in his soul gradually lifted. As he began to recover, he checked his body. His astral spaces were cracked now. Fortunately, the cores were still intact, and they were in the process of recovering. As for his six stars, they were all unharmed. Why did this happen? Long Chen sighed. This was the result of his thousands of calculations and deductions. It couldn't be wrong. He had based it on the experience of the five sovereign. 
so it was definitely possible. Then why wouldn't it work? Was it as bad luck? There was definitely nothing wrong with your calculations. Every step was perfectly in harmony with the Grand Dao, but it still failed in the end. There must be some detail you're overlooking, said Evil Moon. Even Evil Moon felt that the failure this time was inconceivable. Long Chen had been sure of his plan. Everything had been going smoothly, only to suddenly fail at the end. If there really was something wrong with the process, then there should have been something off in the middle. But it only occurred at the very end. However, it wasn't likely that such a thing was a result of his bad luck. Success was success, and failure was failure. If it failed the first time, it would definitely fail the second time if nothing was changed. There had to be a reason that Long Chen was unaware of. With his soul and astral spaces recovering, it was just three days before they were healed. However, his body was still a mess. He needed to reconnect his bones and meridians, and only then could he start circulating his life energy to heal. This injury took him a full month to heal. During this month, Mo Nian and the others were busy interrupting their enemies and cultivating themselves. The medicinal pills allowed them to grow stronger with each passing day, and their experts had broken through to the fifth heaven stage. It was a shocking speed. However, the day before Long Chen fully recovered, a piece of bad news came from Mo Nian's side. Mo Nian had led their army into resentful Death City and encountered Yi Ming. Yi Ming had advanced to the ninth heaven stage and Mo Nian's disruption had interrupted in the middle of his attempt to advance to the 10th heaven stage, the Venerate Realm. Just as he was about to succeed, Mo Nian interrupted him, infuriating him and causing him to charge onto the Martial Heaven Continent. If it hadn't been for the protection of the Central Plains Cauldron, Mo Nian would have been killed. Fortunately, Wild was powerful enough to exchange several blows with Yi Ming. They both ended up injured and Yi Ming retreated in the end. Yi Ming's rate of growth caused people to despair. At that rate, it wouldn't be long before he became sovereign. This piece of news shook Long Chen's heart. His own cultivation speed could be called cheating, but it was even more exaggerated when it came to Yi Ming. He was constantly advancing, and there was practically no logic to speak of. Such rapid advancement can only be done through devouring power. Yi Ming can control dark energy. Or perhaps he sacrificed all the experts of the corrupt path. He schemed so deeply just for this day, said Evil Moon. A human like Yi Ming had actually managed to gain control over dark energy. He was truly ruthlessly ambitious. Let's ignore that for now. I fully recovered. Let's go to the ancient battlefield and bring back the Zither Soul. We can talk more once the Southern Sea Zither acknowledges a master. Long Chen rose. However, just as he was about to leave with Zi Yan, the void suddenly shuddered. Zi Yan and Long Chen were surrounded by a group of people. Chapter 2728 Punitive Forces Zi Yan What are you doing? Why did you block us out? The ones to come were the elusive music Immortal Palace's music master and a group of their old experts. Amongst them was an old crone who barked at Zi Yan. The music master's expression was also ugly. During this time, in order to protect Long Chen, Zi Yan had used the Southern Sea Zither's power to completely lock down this area, making it impossible for anyone to sense them. Now that Long Chen was fully recovered, her barrier was retracted, and the elusive music Immortal Palace's people finally found them and rushed over. Long Chen frowned. He felt increasing distaste for these old timers. Do we need to report everything to you? Don't you think you're bothering us enough? snorted Long Chen. Shut up you little. Before the old crone even finished speaking, Long Chen had appeared in front of her and slapped her wrinkled, spotted, shoehorn looking face. That late heaven merging expert was sent flying. Her jaw shattered. Long Chen. Zi Yan cried out. Long Chen's temper was far too violent. That was an ancestral expert he had just struck. The rest of the elusive music Immortal Palace's experts were enraged. For them to scold Zi Yan was the business of the elusive music Immortal Palace, yet Long Chen had injured the speaker, ignoring the rest of them. You, an ancient flute appeared in one of their hands, but just at that moment, Evil Moon pressed against her head. With just a thought, she would lose her life. Long Chen, stop. Zi Yan hastily grabbed Long Chen, afraid he really would kill her. When he got angry, 
He never thought about the consequences. Zi Yan is a disciple of your elusive music immortal palace, but she is also my woman. I hope you can be more courteous and not shout at her, or it will make me feel very displeased, said Long Chen icily. If it was the music master teaching Zi Yan a lesson, then perhaps that would be fine. But every one of these experts acted as if they were above Zi Yan and allowed to bully her, infuriating Long Chen. Of two ninth heaven stage heaven merging experts, one was slapped by Long Chen, while the other had her life in his hands. Everyone, including the music master, was startled. Only now did they sense that Long Chen had advanced to the seventh heaven stage. His aura was vast like a sea. Long Chen. Zi Yan held Long Chen's arm with a pleading expression. Considering how long she had known him, she knew that he was acting this way because of her. He didn't care about other opinions of him, but he wouldn't allow someone to bully those that he cared about, especially not one of his women whom he viewed as even more important than his own life. They were his reverse scale. Touching them would invoke his wrath. Zi Yan was also moved by Long Chen's declaration. Although her heart had long since belonged to him, up until now, Long Chen's own feelings had not been explicit. For Long Chen to say those words in front of everyone made it clear that Zi Yan also had a spot in his heart. With Zi Yan pulling on him, Long Chen pulled back Evil Moon. However, the old crone's expression was extremely ugly. Back in her time, she had been someone who called the wind and rain. Someone whose existence shook the entire world. Who had dared to go against her. However, now she was defeated in a single move by a junior. No, it couldn't even count as a move. She had simply been directly suppressed. With a cold snort, she turned and left. She clearly didn't have the face to remain here. The other one who Long Chen had slapped glared at Long Chen. Seemingly wanting to speak. However, when Long Chen turned to look at her. She felt like a death god was staring at her. All her vicious words were swallowed back down. Zi Yan, we were worried about you. You vanished without a word. We were worried sick for many days, sighed the music master. I understand. This matter was too urgent. Long Chen, he, said Zi Yan. I was in seclusion and couldn't be disturbed. I had Evil Moon set up a grand formation to block out all connections to the outside world, said Long Chen. In truth, the moment he had woken up, he had told Zi Yan not to tell the elusive music immortal palace where they were. For some reason, he felt intense dislike for them, and he could sense killing intent from them. Who knew what they would do if they learned that he was in a critically injured state? Seeing Long Chen place the blame on himself, the music master wasn't in a position to press that topic. She said, this matter can end here. It's fine as long as you're both all right. After all. You are the hope for the martial heaven continent's future. Nothing can happen to you. Long Chen, you've advanced to the seventh heaven stage. Your power has greatly increased. This is a good thing. The chances of reclaiming the zither soul have increased. However, don't blame me for being an old person and saying too much. Let me just say that even though your power has risen greatly, you must still be cautious. Music master, don't worry. We are preparing to go to the ancient battlefield. We've made ample preparations, said Zi Yan. The music master nodded and gently brushed back some of Zi Yan's hair. All right then, with Long Chen and you working together, I'm not worried. However, safety is number one. If things get dangerous, don't push it. Retreat and we will think of some other way. As long as people are still alive, there is still hope. Understood. Disciple understands. We will definitely succeed, said Zi Yan, a bit emotional. The music master had made no small effort in raising her these past few years. Her matter with Long Chen had also changed for the better thanks to the music master. The latter's endorsement of their relationship had caused her to fight with the other senior members of the elusive music immortal palace many times. That was why Zi Yan was extremely grateful to the music master, as well as filled with guilt. All she hoped for was for this tribulation to pass. When the time came, she hoped another outstanding heir to the elusive music immortal palace would arise, and then she would be able to leave without any guilt. After saying goodbye to the music master, Long Chen and Zi Yan snuck into the ancient battlefield. As soon as they entered, Long Chen staggered. 
Almost Falling, Chapter 2729 Surrounded Once More Long Chen. What is it? Are your wounds not healed? Asked Zi Yan worriedly. Long Chen shook his head. However, his gaze darted around, as sharp as a blade. I suddenly felt some heart palpitations, as if great danger was about to descend. Evil Moon, are you sure no one is watching us? This had never occurred before. As soon as he entered the ancient battlefield, he had a bad feeling, but he was unable to say what exactly the problem was. If someone had set their sights on him, the nine-star hegemon body art would have sensed it, but that feeling hadn't appeared. I've used one of the dragon race's secret arts to conceal both your auras. Furthermore, the demonic beast race's spiritual strength isn't strong. If they were to notice you, you would immediately be able to tell. For your reaction to be so strong, is it perhaps due to this battlefield? Is there some secret hidden within this battlefield that you've sensed? Said Evil Moon. It was confident in its secret art. Tricking the demonic beast race was not an issue. Furthermore. It also had confidence in Long Chen's cultivation technique. Its sharp senses would be able to tell if anyone had set their sights on him. After a while, that feeling slowly faded. It was as if nothing had happened at all. Long Chen uncomfortably smiled. It seemed it really was some sequelae from his injuries. After that, he and Zi Yan stealthily went deeper into the ancient battlefield. About two hours after they entered, Mo Nian led a raid on the ancient battlefield disturbing the laws of the heavenly deos for an instant before leaving. The demonic beasts seemed to have grown numb to these assaults. They didn't even bother chasing Mo Nian away. They practically invited him to come and go. As long as Mo Nian and the others didn't charge into the core region, they ignored them. Once they were gone, Long Chen and Zi Yan entered, taking advantage of the brief chaos. It was extremely easy. Long Chen. The Zither Soul is located in the northwestern area. If we go to it directly, we'll cut through the core of the demonic beast race. So we have to go around. Although I can sense the Zither Soul, I still can't tell its exact location. We'll have to go slowly. Transmitted Zi Yan. Long Chen nodded. Sovereign Han Wei was the previous master of the Southern Sea Zither. In her era, she had suppressed this place. So perhaps the loss of the Zither Soul was related to her. The two of them carefully went around. Three days later, they finally reached the back area of the ancient battlefield, which was littered with frightening, dried up bones. It could be seen just how intense the battle back then had been. Most of those skeletons were complete, and a mysterious vibration still came from their bodies. Zi Yan said that it was the result of being killed by the music Dao. Even after tens of thousands of years, this brand remained and would continue to tear away at these corpses. Of the five sovereigns, Sovereign Han Wei was the most decisive killer, the most warlike. For these bones to remain intact with such a brand meant that they had to have at least reached the Venerate Realm. The area that they passed through had mountains of these corpses. Long Chen felt a chill. Just how many experts had Sovereign Han Wei killed back then? After another couple of hours, they arrived at a giant mountain of bones. Strange sounds began to ring in their ears when they got closer to the mountain. It was like the crying of souls. Long Chen, the zither soul is inside that bone mountain. Long Chen, what is it? Zi Yan suddenly noticed that Long Chen's expression had changed. It was a bit frightening. Stars were revolving in his eyes. The sense of danger has returned, and it's a danger that I've never encountered before. The nine-star hegemon body art seems to sense that the zither soul is suppressing something. If we take it, that terrifying thing will be unleashed. Long Chen's expression was grave. The sense of danger that had just popped up made his hair stand on end. That could only mean that he was in extreme danger. The two of them then climbed the mountain and found a deep hole at the center of the mountain. At the bottom of it was a huge skull, which was too big to even tell from what life form it originated. It was floating there at the center of the hole. Music Dao had condensed into an illusory image of the southern sea zither above it. What do we do? Zi Yan's expression changed. If they took the zither soul, would this skull come back to life? Long Chen also didn't know what to do. If they took the zither soul, it would release this terrifying beast. Long Chen slowly approached it. Suddenly, Evil Moon said, This is the skull of a void beast. It's been dead for many years. Furthermore, 
This is the skull of one that has just been born. Just recently born. Long Chen jumped. It was so big after just being born? Void beasts wander the cosmos. And a matured void beast can devour a star in one gulp. However, a void beast couldn't possibly come to such a low level plane. It's most likely some floating corpse in the cosmos that fell here. The curious thing is that the zither soul doesn't seem to be suppressing it. It's already dead. This zither soul seems to be taking its energy to nourish itself. Said Evil Moon suspiciously. It's not suppressing it. Long Chen's heart suddenly thumped and he instantly understood. He grabbed Zi Yan and slashed the void. Run. It's a trap. Boom. The void exploded. Long Chen charged through the crack with Zi Yan. Only to be forced out by some terrifying power. Ha ha ha. Now that you've come. Don't even think about leaving. Laughter suddenly rang through the air. And Zi Yan's expression changed. That was the voice of the nine-headed lion. As the void twisted. One figure after another appeared. The demonic beast race. The blood race. The undying race. And the devil race's experts had completely surrounded them. Zi Yan even saw experts from the divine families. The nine-headed lion. The blood fiend devil lord. Yi Ying, The Aldevil heaven walker. And Long A Ocean had all come. Moreover. Countless experts of the various races had formed a three-layer blockade around them. Trapping Long Chen and Zi Yan like birds in a cage. How can this be? Zi Yan was pale. This was clearly a trap. Zi Yan. I bet you never imagined this. Suddenly. A voice that struck Zi Yan like a bolt of lightning rang out. She turned to look at that figure. Not daring to believe her eyes. Chapter 2730 Trick and Hatred Amongst the Crowd Came a Group of Women. They were the experts of the elusive music Immortal Palace, and the one leading them was the music master. The current music master had lost any of her previous kind and gentle air. She was like an entirely different person. The ruthlessness in her expression could not be hidden. Impossible. Impossible. You're fake. You must be imposters. Zi Yan was as pale as paper. Tears streamed down her eyes. She had fallen into a nightmare. She had to wake up but she was powerless to do so. That was because everything before her was real. The warm, motherly music master that had protected and defended her had torn off her mask, becoming a devil. How could she accept that? Long Chen looked at Zi Yan. There was not even a hint of reproach in his eyes. Only pain for her. Now he understood why he felt such dislike for the music master and the others. They wanted to kill him but hadn't made a direct move in that regard. Instead, they used Zi Yan's trust in them and the zither soul as bait to bring them here. As long as they didn't directly harm him and instead focused on Zi Yan as the crux of their plans, the senses of the nine star hegemon body art could be muddled. Long Chen had even thought that he was overly suspicious. Now it seemed that he was still too naive. Or perhaps it should be said that he had been too confident in the nine star hegemon body art's sense of danger. Because of it, he had fallen into this trap. Ha ha ha. What a pitiful child. You had no idea. Do you know why the Southern Sea Zither never acknowledged you as master? It's because it is controlled by us. Its main soul is under our control. What you have in your hands is nothing more than a husk. Said the old crone that Long Chen had previously slapped. Why? Why did you use me? If you wanted to kill me. Just kill me? Why use me? Zi Yan let out a hysterical cry filled with resentment and hatred. Due to her. Long Chen was going to die here. She had implicated him. She hated herself. In all her life, Zi Yan had never hated anyone. However, now she hated the elusive music Immortal Palace's people to the core. She wanted to kill them all. The music master snorted. That's your own fault. Who are you blaming? The elusive music Immortal Palace exists on the Martial Heaven continent to eliminate threats. As for you, you are a tool for finding those threats as well as eliminating them. That is your destiny. When you realized Long Chen was your devil star, you should have killed him. But you let him off repeatedly, missing the best time to kill him. We were in seclusion back then. And when we learned what happened, Long Chen was already grown. We couldn't directly kill him. That's why we had to use you to set up this trap and lure him here. If you had simply abided by the rules back then and killed Long Chen when you met him, none of this would have happened. Hearing this, Long Chen and Zi Yan instantly understood. 
It seemed that Zi Yan only existed as a tool for the elusive music Immortal Palace, a tool to get rid of Long Chen. The elusive music Immortal Palace could predict this future, so they had allowed Zi Yan to roam the world. When she encountered Long Chen while he was still weak, she was to kill him. Why do you have to kill Long Chen? He is the ultimate hope of the Martial Heaven Continent. If you kill him, the Martial Heaven Continent will be doomed. Countless lives will perish. Is your conscience all right with that? Sobbed Zi Yan. Ha ha ha. All the experts laughed. The old crone that Long Chen had slapped sneered. You really are an idiot. We're all standing here. Do you still not understand? Our goal has always been to destroy the Martial Heaven Continent. That is the mission of the elusive music Immortal Palace. Today, Long Chen will definitely die. As for you, your end won't be much better. You will be turned into a puppet, a killing machine for the elusive music Immortal Palace. Countless people in the Martial Heaven Continent will be killed by you. Ha ha ha, I'll kill you. Zi Yan suddenly seemed to go insane. She suddenly charged out with the Southern Sea Zither. Startled, Long Chen was about to chase after her when a message from the Southern Sea Zither rang out in his mind. He was already too late. As Zi Yan smashed toward that old crone, the seven strings of the Southern Sea Zither raged. This was an attack containing all of Zi Yan's life, as well as all her hatred. You won't be killing anyone today. Obediently become a puppet. The music master suddenly formed a hand seal. The zither soul down below flew out, condensing into a string in her hand. Boom. The southern sea zither trembled. As a result of the impact, Zi Yan coughed up a mouthful of blood, and her face turned white. Her beautiful eyes had lost all their light. All of a sudden, she was grabbed by the old crone, but she didn't react at all, as if she had no soul. Do you dare to move? The old crone suddenly grabbed Zi Yan's neck, shouting at Long Chen, If you dare to come over, I'll kill this little slut. If you dare to touch even a single hair of hers, I'll make you regret being born in this world. Long Chen's voice was icy. His killing intent had practically condensed into a solid form. You're threatening me? I really don't believe that. The old crone suddenly reached out to slap Zi Yan's face, but before her hand landed, she was struck by a slap from the music master. The music master shouted, Have you grown muddled with age? What are you doing at this time? The music master grabbed the listless Zi Yan. Without even looking at Long Chen, she said to the others, The mission of the elusive music Immortal Palace is complete. The rest is up to you. At this moment, the music master left with the experts of the elusive music Immortal Palace. Long Chen wanted to chase but he was surrounded by countless experts. Even at this time, you're still thinking of others? You should think more about yourself. Death is going to be a luxury for you. Long Aotian stepped forward from amongst the divine families, barring Long Chen's path. At this moment, Long Aotian's eyes were filled with a harsh light. His hatred for Long Chen was taller than the mountain, deeper than the sea. The battle during the previous tribulation had humiliated him and his father had even been killed by Long Chen. Hence, upon seeing Long Chen again, his killing intent instantly ignited. I will personally cut off your head today, shouted Long Aotian. His nine dragons devour the heavens diagram quivered, and his spear pierced toward Long Chen. Chapter 2731 Sovereign Crown in front of a ninth Havenstage Long Aotian. Long Chen didn't dare to be the slightest bit careless. His divine ring and six-star battle armor appeared. Boom. As a result, Long Chen and Long Aotian were both blown back. It was just a probing blow, but it caused the Bone Mountain to crumble. You've advanced to the seventh heaven stage. It seems that you've been cultivating with your life on the line. How regretful that no matter how hard you try, you'll be nothing more than a side character Long Aotian sneered. Just at that moment, an indistinct crown appeared on his head. When that crown manifested, the feeling of the entire world changed. Long Aotian's aura rose by several times, and a sovereign pressure appeared. Do you see this? I've condensed the sovereign crown, a mark of being a sovereign. Although it's not yet complete, it's enough for me to command heaven and earth. As for you, you are an ant crawling beneath my feet. Long Aotian walked through the air, every step causing the void to rumble. Moreover, flowers of the Grand Dao appeared. Trailing behind him, he was like the ruler of this world. 
Long Chen coldly said. So what if you've condensed a sovereign crown? It's still not enough in front of me, let alone this embryonic form. Even if you were truly a sovereign, you would still be a dog in front of me. Sovereign suppression. Long Aotian furiously shouted, slamming his hand down. Cracks appeared in the void. Those cracks possessed the power of the laws of the heavenly deos, which then froze the space around Long Chen. Long Aotian was using the power of an entire world to suppress Long Chen. The moment he used this power, space began to fold on itself, stacking over and over. The concept of time and space was distorted. Instead, chaos reigned. Just as Long Chen was caught in a chaotic stream of space time, Long Aotian's spear stabbed toward his stomach. He hated Long Chen, to the point that he didn't want the latter to die so quickly. He wanted to first cripple Long Chen's cultivation base. Within this sovereign domain, Long Chen was like a prisoner trapped in a prison. He had lost his connection to the outside world's power. To any Empyrean, this was an absolute suppression with no way to escape. However, that was not the case for Long Chen. Upon reaching the seventh heaven stage, his power source was not the outside world but his 108,000 stars. Boom. With a thunderous roar, Long Chen shattered Long Aotian's sovereign domain. Evil Moon hacked into his spear like a bolt of black lightning. What even the power of a sovereign is unable to bind him? How is that possible Yi Miang? The nine-headed lion, the blood fiend devil lord, and the Aldevil heaven walker were stunned. The four of them had all reached the peak of the ninth heaven stage. Having condensed the embryonic sovereign crown, that meant that they had also condensed the power of an entire world. It could be said that their sovereign suppression was a peerless counter to any technique and life form. They had tested it themselves. Other than against venerate experts that had a certain resistance, those at the ninth heaven stage and below could only obediently be suppressed. However, it was actually ineffective against Long Chen, which stunned them. He was practically a monster. There was no way to judge him with common sense. Boom. As Evil Moon slashed into the dragon spear, Long Chen's arm trembled. The current Long Aotian had the sovereign crown and the support of an entire world's energy and laws, so his power had surpassed the level that a normal person could comprehend. As for Long Aotian, he almost coughed up blood. He was barely able to keep a hold of his spear. He was shocked that he couldn't suppress Long Chen. While Long Chen's right arm quivered, his left hand wasn't blocked by anything. It swung out, and a lightning rune appeared in his palm the instant he struck Long Aotian's face. That was Li Linger's power. As a result, Long Aotian's face exploded, and he shot back amongst the divine families. Startled, the divine families reached out to catch Long Aotian. Split the heavens nine. Just at that moment, Long Chen slashed Evil Moon. His scales turned half black and his blood chi soared. His saber was like a river of stars slashing down. A crescent moon fang was unleashed out of Evil Moon, flying toward Long Aotian. As a result, all of the divine family's experts caught in its line were annihilated. Block it. Hundreds of experts on the level of venerates from the divine families attacked. Rays of divine light flew out. Boom. As those rays of divine light exploded along with the saber image, all these venerates coughed up blood. Horrified. Even their combined power still resulted in them being injured. Split the heavens nine. They had just received Long Chen's attack when another heaven-rending saber slashed toward Long Aotian. It was as if it would not stop until Long Aotian was dead. There was practically no pause between the two attacks. Long Aotian was still in the midst of recovering. If it weren't for the Divine Family's experts helping him receive the first attack, he would have died. The Divine Family's experts were now injured and forced back, unable to help him receive the second attack. Hence, with a furious roar, Long Aotian blocked with his spear. Boom. Long Aotian coughed up blood. Tumbling back, Long Chen's power came from his 108,000 stars and so it contained 108,000 different sets of laws. Because of it, Long Aotian was temporarily unable to recover with his heavenly Tao energy. Even the Sovereign Crown was unable to suppress Long Chen's power. Split the heavens nine. Just at this moment, Long Chen's third blow fell, stunning everyone. They were well aware of Long Chen's split the heavens. He had used it last time. But back then, every usage had exhausted him. This time, 
Long Chen had unleashed it three times without pause, stunning Long Aotian. In his current state, there was no way he could receive such an attack. He was still off balance and injured from the last one. However, this blow of Long Chen's didn't contain any locking power. Without even thinking about it, Long Aotian dodged to the side. The Divine Family's experts also dodged almost instinctively. As this shocking blow passed by all of them, the laws of heaven and earth were sliced apart by it. A giant hole now appeared in their perfect cage. Not good. Everyone's expression suddenly changed. However, it was too late. Long Chen had rushed out of the opening created by the ninth form of Split the Heavens. Boom. Just as he escaped their encirclement, a golden hand fell from the sky, slamming into Long Chen's body. As a result, he coughed up a mouthful of blood and was forced back. A dozen elders appeared in the void. One of them looked at Long Chen with a complicated expression. Just give up. You can't escape. As long as you abandon your hatred, the doors of the divine families will be opened to you. Lord Saint, how is that acceptable? Long Chen must die. Roared Long Aotian. Chapter 2732 Captured Noveloon.com Those elders did not just belong to one power. Some of them were from the blood race, the demonic beast race, the undying race, and the devil race. Every single one of them was terrifyingly powerful. However, amongst them was an even more terrifying expert who vaguely had the aura of a sovereign. That expert with the sovereign aura was the old monster of the undying race, the one who had fought three days and nights against sovereign Zi Yang. However, their leader was not any one of them. Instead, it was the Divine Family's Lord Saint. As soon as he appeared, Long Chen's heart turned cold. A saint was an existence that stood at almost the peak of the current world. For over ten of them to appear now, even Long Chen felt despair. In order to capture him, it could be said that the various powers had brought out their full forces. They didn't give him any chance of escaping. Their trap was practically seamless, inescapable. The Lord Saint of the Divine Families didn't even glance at Long Aotian when the latter roared angrily. Instead, he looked at Long Chen. Long Chen, you are an amazing genius just like your father. I cannot bear to see you die here. If you swear to hand over all your secrets, I can open this net. Once this tribulation is over, I will send you to the higher plane. Long Chen rested Evil Moon on his shoulder and coldly looked at the Lord Saint. Don't act so fake. I admit that I've been defeated this time. From your eyes, I can see what you're thinking. You've taken the most valuable thing from me last time, and now you want to take more. Send me to a higher plane once this tribulation is over? Do you think that it is possible? When Long Aotian becomes a true sovereign, will you have the power to make such a promise? Don't keep acting. You are the same as Long Aotian. Do you think I'm a fool to fall for this act? You want my secrets? Keep dreaming. Perhaps you can take my life, but you won't be able to take what you really want. Long Chen knew that he was caught. Having fallen into their hands, he would definitely be facing a life worse than death. All that was left was one final desperate attempt. In the face of his impending death, Long Chen didn't feel fear, only unresident. He regretted not fully trusting the sense of danger from the Nine Star Hegemon body art. If he had thought it over more, Perhaps he would have been able to break this trap. Thinking of the doom of the Martial Heaven Continent and everyone who would die, he knew he had to survive. His head rapidly worked as he stared coldly at the Lord Saint. The Lord Saint shook his head. The matter involving your father back then is something I feel great regret for. It was a mistake. How can I allow this mistake to occur again? Promise to hand over your secrets and I will have everyone within the Divine Family swear not to make things hard on you. What about my brothers, my wives? Asked Long Chen. The Lord Saint shook his head. I can only guarantee your life. As for everyone else, they are all pieces within the tribulation. No one can change their fates. Boom. Suddenly, the space in front of Long Chen exploded, and he shot back like a shooting star, entering the crowd once more. He actually threw himself into their net. The Lord Saint's expression changed. By entering the crowd, they couldn't attack him with their full power, or it would affect their allies as well. Stop him. Long Chen's target was Long Aotian. Long Aotian was furious. He was no fool. He saw that Long Chen wanted to take him hostage. 
Intolerable Long A Ocean roared furiously. He couldn't possibly retreat at this moment. A sovereign had to maintain an undefeatable Deo heart. There was no way he could become a full sovereign without it. Boom. However, the result was that his injuries had yet to heal, and he was unable to block a single blow from Long Chen. He was sent flying. As rumbling rang out, a lightning spear flew out of Long Chen's right hand. Only now did Long A Ocean realize that Long Chen wasn't using him as a hostage. He was trying to drag Long A Ocean down with him. Divine lightning thundered. This spear contained all of Li Ling'er's power, and its destructive power blew away the laws of heaven and earth. Even Long A Ocean's sovereign crown vanished. The nine dragons in Long A Ocean's manifestation grew dim, which indicated that the power of his manifestation had been sealed. In other words, if this attack killed him, there would be no substitute. He would be truly dead. Li Ling'er had absorbed the divine lightning of the five sovereigns. What laws could possibly restrict her? Her power caused even the Lord Saint's expression to change. The nine-headed lion, the blood fiend devil lord, Yi Ying, and the Aldevil Heaven Walker were capable of helping. If the four of them joined forces, they should be able to receive this attack. However, the four of them simply stood there, seemingly waiting for Long Chen to kill Long A Ocean first. There was even some delight in their eyes. Suddenly, a jade pendant glowed on Long A Ocean's chest. Following that, a hand reached out. It was the same hand that had smacked Long Chen down. It was the Lord Saint. Long A Ocean had used the power of the jade pendant to have the Lord Saint appear before him. It was actually unaffected by Li Ling'er's influence. The lightning spear directly pierced the Lord Saint's hand, continuing all the way to strike his chest. Boom. The clothes on the Lord Saint's chest were blown apart, revealing a thin bony chest. Countless runes flowed across his skin. His skin looked like it was made of gold, but now there was a large hole in his chest. The Lord Saint looked down at the hole and cracks in his chest. Even the Divine Family's Golden Saint body was broken by you. You deserve to be called Long's Hanshin son. If you had reached the ninth heaven stage, this attack might have taken my life. Regretfully. This is your fate. The other saints also attacked at this time, and rays of divine light enveloped Long Chen. Long Chen let out a heaven shaking roar as he fought back against the suppression of a dozen saints. His skin was torn apart, and blood instantly dyed him red. The old monster of the undying race narrowed his eyes. He slowly raised his staff, and six strange rays of light shot out from the eye sockets of the three skulls on his staff. Bang! Suddenly, the Lord Saint appeared in front of Long Chen, and with a palm to his head, knocked him unconscious. He tossed Long Chen to the Divine Family's experts. He then turned to the Undying Race's elder. What? Were you trying to refine Long Chen into a puppet to replace Yi Ming? The old monster silently lowered his staff and indifferently said, You misunderstand. I was just thinking of helping you suppress Long Chen. Long Chen was captured. After that, the Divine Family's experts bound him with countless chains and took out over a hundred trapping formations. Even the Lord Saint would be unable to escape if bound by this many formations. It could be seen just how cautious they were when it came to Long Chen. Wait, where is Long Chen's saber suddenly? A cry rang out. Just now, all their focus had been on suppressing Long Chen. No one had noticed that Evil Moon had vanished at some point. Chapter 2733 The Southern Sea Zither Secret Boom An explosion came from the pill furnace, startling Menchi and the others. The Demon Moon Furnace had actually caused the pills to explode. What happened? Asked Menchi, looking at Long Chen's clone. Ling'er was also startled. Spiritual fluctuations came from Senior Evil Moon, disturbing me. It seems that something has happened. Long Chen's clone had Evil Moon controlling the spirit, while Ling'er and the Heaven Flipping Seal controlled the Qi and Essence. When Long Chen left and brought away Evil Moon, Evil Moon had left a portion of its soul behind to maintain the clone. Right now, the void split open. Evil Moon appeared and merged into the clone. It's not good. Long Chen has fallen for a trap. What? Within endless darkness, a chilling cold invaded Zi Yan's body. This was a prison. The sinister. Ear-piercing laugh of devils occasionally rang out here, as if resentful spirits were wailing. That sound possessed a powerful effect on the soul. It could invade a person's mind see and draw them into illusions. 
It could even be used to grow a heart devil. As a music cultivator, Zi Yan was even more sensitive to such an attack. She felt ten times the pain someone else would. However, whether it was the pain of the physical body or the torment of her soul, she didn't care about any of it. Only one thing knotted her heart like a viper. Long Chen, I harmed you. Within the darkness, the music master's sinister voice rang out in her mind along with her ruthless expression. She felt hatred. She had become a chess piece used to harm Long Chen. Since they were unable to directly target Long Chen, they used her and Long Chen's trust in her. She wished that she was dead now. With Long Chen in their hands, he was definitely suffering a fate worse than death. Hatred. Resentment. Unwillingness. Killing intent. The devil music crashing down upon her from all directions was clearly attempting to nourish a heart devil within her, gradually erasing her will and turning her into a puppet. What she needed to do was to calm herself. That was the only way to resist the invasion of the heart devil. However, whenever she thought of Long Chen, those negative emotions surged within her. In front of her lay the southern sea zither. Regretfully, it was already under someone else's control. It was like a lifeless log. Senior, did you also encounter something like this? Am I really going to end up becoming their puppet? Will my own hand slaughter the lives of the Martial Heaven continent? Will I kill my sisters and Long Chen's hot-blooded brothers? Zi Yan muttered to herself. Tears once more surfaced in her eyes. She felt like she had fallen into a bottomless hell. Powerless to resist. The formations and chains made her unable to even kill herself. Now do you know the evil side of humanity suddenly? A voice rang out in Zi Yan's mind. Zi Yan was startled but ecstatic. Senior, is it you? Is it really you? That voice belonged to the southern sea zither. But that was impossible. The music master had used the zither soul to gain complete control over the southern sea zither. What lay before her should be nothing more than an empty husk. This husk was for her when she became bedeviled. She would then play a song of slaughter becoming nothing more than a tool. Hence, for the southern sea zither to be able to speak to her, she finally felt a glimmer of hope within this endless darkness. Of course it is me. Answer my question from 20 years ago again. When you encounter evil people, what should you do? Zi Yan felt as if she had returned to 20 years ago. When she was but a girl, the southern sea zither had asked her this question. Her answer was that she would turn evil to good bringing them to the correct path. Now that the southern sea zither brought it back up, she felt that this answer was laughable. Kill. Kill them all. Killing intent raged within Zi Yan's eyes. She recalled the music master's fake face and her senior's expressions. At this moment, her killing intent exploded like a volcano. In that instant, Zi Yan began to transform. Her face grew colder, harder. If Long Chen was present, he would definitely find her resembling Sovereign Han Wei. Good. The current you are finally qualified to be my master. I am a slaughter zither. The music of slaughter can only be played by those who can kill resolutely. In that battle of the immortal era, my master betrayed me, almost causing the destruction of the eastern wasteland bell. Ever since then, I carry a disgrace that cannot be washed away. From then onward, I stop believing in kindness. I only believe in killing. My last master was Han Wei, and you will be the next sovereign Han Wei. Come, join forces with me. We will kill until the world flips, said the southern sea zither. An ancient zither appeared within Zi Yan's mind sea. This was the zither soul, and it fully merged with Zi Yan. However, this zither soul was not very powerful. Before Zi Yan could speak, the southern sea zither explained, My main soul is still under their control. But as long as you do as I teach you, acting like you've become a bedeviled puppet, we will reclaim that main soul when they try to control you. Furthermore, after you become a puppet, they will definitely pour their resources into you to turn you into the strongest killing machine. While becoming a sovereign isn't possible, you will become an emperor. Then we will kill them until their blood turns into a river. Zi Yan nodded. Within the darkness, an unprecedented determination shone in her eyes. Long Chen, if you are still alive, I will accompany you in battle. If you are dead, I will kill all our enemies and then join you. Pain racked Long Chen's body. He felt like he had become prey caught in a spider web. Every single bone, every single meridian was hooked. 
His blood had almost been sucked dry, and he was incomparably weak. Long Chen, I'll give you another chance. One last chance. If you want to live, hand over your secrets. Long Chen barely managed to raise his head. His neck crackled. He didn't know what they had done to him, but just opening his eyes made his eyes burn. His vision was extremely indistinct at first. He found himself in a foreign world, cold and desolate. Stones covered this craggy land, and the spiritual chi of heaven and earth had been sucked dry. There was no sign of life. Standing in front of him were two people. One was the Lord Saint, while the other the sinister heaven executioner. His slender hands held a delicate bloody blade. He was looking at Long Chen with interest, a smile on his face. I didn't expect that after so many years, I will get to use my blade against your body once more. It truly is an honor. Chapter 2734 Bone Scraping Torture The Heaven Executioner Only a few people knew his real name. In the Divine Families, he was only called the Heaven Executioner. He was officially the manager in charge of the Justice Department, but so much time had passed that people had forgotten this position. The Heaven Executioner had become his name. Long Chen looked at the Heaven Executioner with icy killing intent. Back then, when he was just a baby, someone had cruelly taken his spirit root, spirit blood, and spirit bone. It was this pair of evil hands that had destroyed his family. Only now did Long Chen notice golden threads throughout his entire body, and every thread was connected to his meridians and bones. He was like a puppet being strung along. He had lost his ability to recover. Every trace of blood chi, every trace of spiritual strength was sucked away by those threads, leaving him powerless. Long Chen, you're beaten. You have no chance of turning things around. Just surrender. Your father was even stronger than you back then but was unable to escape these bindings. In the end, he was sent away. You should just give up. You can't escape. And don't even think that someone will come save you. This is the heaven's devastation world. It only has a single connection to other worlds. And that entrance exists in the divine family's ancestral lands. Furthermore, that entrance is a top secret even amongst the divine families. There are definitely less than 10 people aware of it. Even if the Martial Heaven Alliance learns that you're in our hands, they can't do anything. Especially since we've closed the channel connecting the Martial Heaven continent to us. They can't get in. But even if they did, they would have to tear down the entire divine families to have a chance of finding the entrance. But do they have that power? The martial heaven continent has declined. You should know just how strong we are, said the Lord Saint. Long Chen nodded. It's true. I never expected that the divine families were so powerful. So the so-called Dark Era's battles were a scheme. The divine families were the true spies. No wonder you would always hide whenever the sovereigns appeared, and there are no records of you participating in battles. How unfortunate that I don't have the wisdom of the sovereigns and failed to notice this. Since I'm in your hands, there's nothing to say. I just don't understand. Are you attacking the Martial Heaven Continent simply for slaughter? The Lord Saint shook his head. That's a secret. Until the final moment, no one can speak of it. Don't bother thinking about it. Even if you did learn this secret from my mouth, what would you do? Are you even capable of reporting it to the Martial Heaven Continent? Even if you give us your secrets, all I can do is protect your life. I won't let you go back to the Martial Heaven Continent and ruin our plans. Let's get back to the topic. I'm giving you your last chance. Hand over your secrets, and I will let you live. Ha ha ha. Long Chen laughed. The Lord Saint cocked his head. Is it very funny? Long Chen shook his head. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at my father. Oh, I'm laughing at the soft heart he had. He was so soft hearted that he didn't kill you. Not knowing that this person that he had mercy on would have no mercy on his son. Isn't that funny? Ha ha ha. Long Chen laughed. His voice full of ridicule. Shut up. The Lord Saint furiously shouted. I've given you your chance. But you refuse to accept it. If I didn't pity the two of you. Both of you would have been immediately killed. Haha, <laughs> what a joke. My father spared your life back then. This is what he gets in return? You act so noble, but you're just a hypocrite. Just looking at you disgusts me. You wish to know how I cultivated to my current level without my spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone? 
You wish to know how a group of normal people like the Dragonblood Legion rose to the peak of the martial path? You want to know why the five sovereigns chose me to carry on their legacies? Haha. <laughs> Do you think I'm a fool? You think you have an absolute advantage, but your eyes tell me that you're filled with unease. The Martial Heaven Continent still has many secrets that you're unaware of. Any one of those secrets could cause your plans to fail. My guess is that if things do fail, you will face your own inescapable tribulation, and you play such childish games to dredge out my secrets? Keep dreaming, sneered Long Chen. You, the Lord Saint pointed at Long Chen furiously, but his furious gaze contained a trace of worry. He really was uneasy. The sovereigns were connected to the greatest secret of the Martial Heaven continent. Even after so many years, they hadn't managed to pierce that veil. The five sovereigns all viewed Long Chen highly. There must be some reason for that. If they killed Long Chen, that secret might be forever lost. The Martial Heaven continent was the core of the Starfield. Although it was on the verge of destruction, it was not a normal world. Even on the verge of death. Any life that was facing demise would unleash all its power at that final moment to fight back. Long Chen very likely knew some of those core secrets. If they could obtain those, their plans would go even smoother. That was why they viewed his secrets as something that they had to obtain. For Long Chen to completely see through his intentions like this embarrassed the Lord Saint. This embarrassment became anger, but he was also powerless. You really refused to recognize kindness. I'll give you one month to think it over. After one month, if you still refuse to accept, don't blame me. The Lord Saint snorted coldly and turned around. The Lord Saint clenched a jade pendant, with a special hand seal. A channel appeared in the void. He stepped into that channel and then vanished. One month? The Lord Saint truly thinks lowly of me. I won't waste any time. The heaven executioner laughed. He suddenly scraped his blade across Long Chen's arm. Long Chen's entire body quivered. Although it was just a light graze of the blade, it made Long Chen feel like he would crumble. Haha, <laughs> not bad. You don't even make a sound. He, I really like this part of you and your father, but I really want to know just what it would take to make someone like you scream. The heaven executioner smiled with a kind of perverted excitement. It was as if torturing people was a pleasure to him. The heaven executioner cut his blade across Long Chen 1. Two, three, an uncountable number of times. Long Chen's body constantly spasmed, but he didn't say anything. His icy eyes stared back at the heaven executioner. Suddenly, he spoke, his voice like a devil's curse. You should pray to the heavens that you don't land in my hands. Chapter 2735 Humiliation Don't worry, such a day will never come. No one can protect their secrets in front of me. The Lord Saint gave me one month so we can play slowly. There's no need to rush. He, the heaven executioner's blade suddenly lit up with runes, and he stabbed it into Long Chen's chest. As the sound of it scraping against bone rang out, Long Chen's body twitched violently. The pain made veins pop on his forehead, but he still didn't make a sound. When your spirit bone was taken, it seemed that I wasn't very clean. Let me help you tidy up. The heaven executioner smiled eerily and began to drag his blade down. The spirit bone was what connected the spirit and the blood chi, and its location could be said to be the most sensitive spot in the human body. For a blade to stab through there was enough to make a person want to die. Does it hurt? If it hurts, you should scream. That might make you feel better. The heaven executioner's words were enticing. They definitely had a powerful effect on someone in unimaginable pain. However, Long Chen knew that once he screamed, his last mental defense would crumble. This was a mental battle. The pain washed over Long Chen's body like a tsunami. He clenched his teeth, not making a sound. Suddenly, his vision darkened as he fainted. Only then did the heaven executioner pull back his blade. His smile vanished, replaced with a solemn frown. Long Chen's will was truly terrifying. This one move of his had caused countless people before him to submit. Most people couldn't endure it. Even people with incredibly strong wills were only able to endure a few breaths time. However, Long Chen had endured for an incense stick's worth of time before directly fainting. There was no opening in his will to exploit. In his entire life, the heaven executioner had only failed with this technique on two people. One was Long Chen, 
while the other was Long Chen's father. We can go slowly. We'll continue in three days. The heaven executioner snorted at the unconscious Long Chen and left. That was because he knew that Long Chen's unconscious state would last three days. During these three days, he couldn't possibly push Long Chen any further or he would really die. The Lord Saint had specifically given him a month's time to avoid pressing him, so he wouldn't make a mistake due to impatience. If Long Chen did die, there would be no way for them to dredge his secrets out of him. Once the Heaven Executioner left, this desolate world only had a giant net remaining. Long Chen was trapped at the center of this net. What to do? What can I do? How can I escape even while unconscious? Long Chen's mind didn't slumber. He was thinking of how he could escape his current predicament. He couldn't die. If he died, everyone in the Dragon Blood Legion would unleash a suicidal charge to avenge him. If he died, everyone he cared about would perish as well, and the Martial Heaven Continent would be destroyed. The five sovereigns had placed their trust in him. Although he hadn't promised them anything, he could feel that burden on his shoulders. Li Linger has also been sealed and cannot help me. Long Chen slowly opened his eyes and looked at his palm sadly. In order to kill Long Aotian, Li Linger had unleashed her full power. Long Chen had wanted to destroy his physical body and take his Yuan spirit hostage with that killing blow, but it had been ruined by the Lord Saint. With that one failure, everything fell apart. Due to using up all her energy, Li Linger had hidden herself in the lightning rune in his palm. However, that rune had been sealed which cut off his connection to her. The current Long Chen could truly be said to have used up all his trump cards. The only thing that gave him some comfort was that Evil Moon had escaped. It hadn't been captured, so it would definitely transmit this news to the Martial Heaven Continent. If the High Priest learned of this, he would definitely do his best to save Long Chen. However, right now, Long Chen was worrying more about Zi Yan. This giant scheme's main target had not been him but Zi Yan instead. It could be said that her plight was far worse than his. If the positions were switched, if Long Chen made a mistake that caused Zi Yan to be captured, he would go crazy. Furthermore, thinking of how she was being tormented by those old witches from the elusive music Immortal Palace, his killing intent surged. As expected, the nine-star hegemon body art senses were the most accurate. Bad people were simply bad people. He should have killed them as soon as he saw them. Although I managed to trick that pervert, I need to come up with some way of escaping. What can I possibly do within three days? Pondered Long Chen. All his power was being sucked away by this net, as if countless leeches were sucking away his energy. Any trace of power he summoned would be sucked away. He didn't even have the spiritual strength to connect with the primal chaos space. Moreover, he had no way to use the power locked away in his 108,000 stars. Even if he could, it would be useless. The power of his stars would also be sucked away by these countless formations. Long Chen had never been in such a hopeless scenario before. All his paths were blocked shot. He was at his wit's end. Am I supposed to wait to be saved here? Long Chen shook his head. Even if the high priest knew his predicament, the former wouldn't possibly attack the divine families. The Martial Heaven Continent was in imminent peril. Anything could cause the battle to start in advance. Furthermore, he was captured in the ancient battlefield. So how could they know that he was in the Divine Families? Just as what the Lord Saint said, even knowing would be useless. They couldn't find him here. Three days quickly passed and the Heaven Executioner returned. This time with more than ten different torture tools. However, even his best efforts didn't cause Long Chen to make a sound. In the end, Long Chen fainted once more. This time, the Heaven Executioner's expression was much darker. Long Chen's will made him feel a bit of fear, shaking his confidence. If this continued, there would be no way for him to open Long Chen's mouth. Another three days passed. However, when the Heaven Executioner finished, his expression was twisted. He had failed once more. All his torture skills were useless. After another few days, he brought two additional people. One was Long Aotian who only looked at Long Chen. But curiously, he didn't do anything. After staring at Long Chen, he snickered. Long Chen, hold on. I've advanced to the 10th heaven stage. Do you see? I'm already at the Venerate Realm. And I'm going to break through to the Saint Realm soon. 
You must be calm and patient during this time. Don't get too emotional, or you might die. Endure until I become a sovereign. I want you to personally witness me killing every person you care about. After saying that, Long Aotian patted Long Chen's face, laughed, and left. The other person then stepped forward. Looking at him, Long Chen was surprised. It was Yi Qian, the Divine Pill Division's heavenly genius, someone the Pill Doyen viewed highly. He had not reached the ninth heaven stage of heaven merging. Yi Qian came up to Long Chen and sneered. Long Chen, today I'll repay you for the humiliation you made me endure in the Divine Pill Plaza. Boom. Yi Qian suddenly punched Long Chen's chest, causing the latter to cough up a mouthful of blood and faint. What are you doing? Raged the Heaven Executioner. He then checked on Long Chen. Fortunately, he hadn't died. Yi Qian clearly hadn't discussed this punch with him beforehand. Sorry, I simply couldn't endure my hatred. Apologized Yi Qian. You immature fool. Scram. Shouted the Heaven Executioner. If Yi Qian had killed Long Chen just now, all their efforts would have been wasted. Yi Qian apologized and left. When he was about to vanish, he stealthily glanced back at Long Chen with a complicated expression. Chapter 2736 Pill Spirit Flame Once Yi Qian left, the Heaven Executioner was worried about Long Chen dying, so he gave Long Chen some medicine. Only then did he gloomily leave. It was unknown whether or not he was going to demand an explanation from the Pill Doyen. Their agreement had been for Long Aotian and Yi Qian to humiliate Long Chen. That was because they might be able to cause Long Chen to speak out of anger or hatred, causing his mouth to slip. Long Aotian was in a critical moment, and allowing him to see Long Chen like this could allow him to break free of any mental burdens. As for Yi Qian, he was supposed to humiliate Long Chen, infuriating him and creating an opening in his mental state. However, Yi Qian hadn't done as agreed. He had almost killed Long Chen, and this act infuriated the Heaven Executioner. An hour after the Heaven Executioner left, Long Chen slowly opened his eyes. He was surprised. Why did Yi Qian come to help me? Long Chen noticed that a new flame energy had appeared within his body. This was not a flame seed. Moreover, it was extremely weak that even the Heaven Executioner didn't notice it. This was a pill cultivator's specific pill spirit flame. Furthermore, this flame was extremely rarely seen. Only alchemists could sense its existence. With his punch, Yi Qian had sent the pill spirit flame into Long Chen's body. This was like sending charcoal and snow. At this moment, the pill spirit flame was slowly burning within Long Chen's body, gradually forming a clump of energy. This energy was actually not restricted by the formations trapping him. With it, I have somewhere to store up energy. It will no longer be sucked away. Long Chen was delighted by this. He finally had a chance of survival. Within the Divine Pill Division, in a secret room, Yi Qian was standing before the Pill Doyen, who was sitting. Without opening his eyes, he said, Is it done? Yes, I've done as you instructed. The Void Spirit Flame has been sent into his body. The Heaven Executioner didn't notice, but Disciple still doesn't understand, said Yi Qian. The Pill Doyen finally opened his eyes. Speak. Why are we helping Long Chen? This is betraying the Divine Families. Although the Divine Pill Division exists outside the laws of the Divine Families, we are also not permitted to interfere in their matters. However, this time, the Divine Pill Division paid almost no attention to matters outside of refining pills. Now that they had interfered in this matter, Yi Qian was nervous. However, he had still carried out the Pil Doyen's orders. This matter was incredibly dangerous. If the Divine Families learned of it, he and the Pil Doyen would not have a good ending. Long Chen has graced you with kindness. Without him, you would have gone further and further down the wrong path. Someone who doesn't repay favors is a little person, so this matter has to be repaid. Otherwise, once your realm reaches a higher level, you will slowly find an unbreakable wall in your way. If Long Chen died like this when you had the ability to help him, and you didn't, would you be able to rest at peace? Would that not form a heart devil? Perhaps if you were such an indifferent person inside then it would be fine, but you are kind deep down. By opening this path for him, you have opened a door for yourself, said the Pil Doyen. Yi Qian was startled. 
He did not feel anything good toward Long Chen, but deep inside, he was grateful to Long Chen. Without his defeat back then, there was no way he would be calmly cultivating right now. Long Chen had changed his attitude toward alchemy, allowing him to advance with leaps and bounds on the pill Dao. He did have some hatred toward Long Chen, but also gratitude. If Long Chen died, the hatred would naturally vanish. However, just as the pill Doyen said, perhaps ten or a hundred years from now, he would recall this matter. Would he feel regret and guilt then? Disciple understands. Many thanks for your teachings. Yi Qian bowed, fully convinced. The pill Doyen's wisdom was something he was a far cry from reaching. The pill Doyen nodded. Although you like to compete and get a bit jealous of others, your heart still holds kindness. That's the only reason why I would pass my life's teachings to you. Long Chen has ground down your sharpness, returning your sword to its sheath. Your sharpness is not reserved. Your future prospects are limitless. You owe Long Chen a huge debt, and that debt must be repaid. As for the laws of the divine families, those are meaningless for us. We are the divine pill division. We only care about refining pills. Haha, <laughs> Long Chen is also an alchemist. So this can't count as stepping out of line. Yi Qian smiled when the pill Doyen put it like that. He didn't expect the always impartial pill Doyen to have such an unreasonable side. That logic was far too forced. However, can a single flame seed really change his fate? Asked Yi Qian. That's not up to us. We've done what we can and should do. Whether he can escape with that is up to him. Like this, you can face Long Chen in the future. And I can face that old wine ghost as well, sighed the pill doyen. The pill doyen's expression suddenly changed. He said, prepare yourself. The heaven executioner has come, and he's definitely going to complain. We cannot reveal any openings to him. This person is no good. On the martial heaven continent, within the palace of the martial heaven alliance, the high priest, Daoist heavenly feather, Hujinying, the old man, Meng Chi. Chu Yao, Yi Zhikyu, and the others were all gathered. The atmosphere was incomparably tense. Let me go. I will drag Long Chen back, declared the old man, unable to conceal his anxiousness. This is clearly a trap. Now that Long Chen has been captured, one wrong move and the martial heaven continent will be doomed. Rather than saving Long Chen, we'd drag the lives of the continent down with us. Furthermore, where are you going to go to save him? Do you know where he is? Demanded Ku Jinying angrily. The old man raged. Anything is better than just waiting here. I'll slaughter the divine families first. With the heaven splitting divine tablet, I'll be able to fight even against the Lord Saint. Is there any meaning to this foolish bravery? You were like this in your youth, and you still haven't grown up in your old age. We need to think of a way to fix this, not get angry and do something reckless. You're only compounding the problem. When are you going to mature? Cursed Pujinying. What use does maturity have? Your heart only cares for your martial heaven continent. But my heart cares for my family's children. In my eyes, I've never managed to be a useful father figure. If I stay like this, that won't change for the rest of my life. Go find whoever you like. I'm going to go save my child. Cursed the old man. He began to walk out. You. Ku Jinying was shuddering with rage, and furious tears overflowed from her eyes. You bastard, how can you say such hurtful things? Li Xiangxuan grabbed the old man, saying, calm yourself down. Every single one of us is as worried as you. However, just as the alliance had said, being reckless will not resolve things. Furthermore, you don't need to worry. I will use my own head to guarantee that Long Chen won't die. Everyone was startled. Why was Li Xiangxuan so sure? Just at that moment, another voice rang out. I will also use my head to guarantee that Long Chen will be fine. A white-robed, middle-aged man with a sword on his back walked into the palace. Seeing him, Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Yi Zhikyu, and Tang Wanner all cried out in disbelief. Sect Leader Chapter 2737 Ling Yunzi arrives His snow white robes fluttered in the breeze along with his long facial hair and he gave off a feeling of the immortal Tao. However, his gaze was sharp, so sharp that people didn't dare to look directly at him. Sword light flowed within his eyes. After many years, Ling Yunzi's appearance had changed quite a bit. However, 
Tang Wan'er and the others still recognized him instantly. Junior Ling Yanzi greets seniors. Ling Yanzi cupped his fists toward everyone. Even the high priest and Daoist Heavenly Feather rose to greet him. Ling Yanzi's aura was ephemeral. They couldn't sense his true cultivation base. However, it was possible to sense the sharp will of the Sword Dao. I've long since heard that a peerless genius has appeared within the Heavenly Sword Gate. As someone who cultivates the Annihilation Sword Dao, partially through his own cultivation and partially through the enlightenment of the heavens, he is a genius that has never appeared throughout all of history. Now that we meet, I see that the rumors are all true. The high priest looked at Ling Yanzi with admiration. It seemed that he could sense how terrifying the latter was. Ling Yanzi smiled humbly. Senior overpraises me. This junior merely had a lucky encounter. It was all thanks to Long Chen. I'm too ashamed to receive this praise. You're too courteous. Is Sect Master Heaven Spirit Sword Master well? If I recall correctly, he is my senior. Unfortunately, I've never had a chance to pay my respects to him, said the high priest. This startled Men Chi and the others. Even Daoist Heavenly Feather with her startling seniority called the high priest senior. Yet the high priest called Sect Master Heaven Spirit Sword Master a senior? Just what era was this person from? Master left this mortal world three months ago. It's a pity that he was never fated to meet with you. Sighed Ling Yunzi. What a shame. If senior was present. Hmm. Doesn't that mean that you are this generation's sword master? The high priest's eyes suddenly widened. Ling Yunzi nodded. Junior is ashamed to say that with my pitiful talent. But I don't dare to betray my master's expectations. I could only thicken my skin and accept this heavy burden. The high priest and Daoist Heavenly Feather were pleasantly surprised. Ling Yanzi had become this generation's Heavenly Spirit Sword Master, so they had gained another powerful helper. Stop talking around the point. You said that Long Chen won't die. Is that true? Interrupted the old man. Ling Yanzi nodded. Senior, rest at ease. As long as I am still alive, he won't die. What does that mean? Asked the old man. Ling Yanzi smiled. Forgive this junior for not being able to answer. But I believe that the Xuan master understands. Li Shiang Suan was startled. So you. Ling Yanzi nodded. So it wasn't just me. There's another. If we are still living well. Long Chen can't possibly die because this is fate. What nonsense are you two mumbling about? Demanded the old man. Let me put it simply. Long Chen won't die. What we should do is focus on advancing as fast as possible because the battle is quickly approaching. Don't mention the fact that Long Chen was captured. Even if the other side leaks this news, we can use Long Chen's clone to fake it, said Ling Yanzi. Sect Master, how did you know that Long Chen was captured? Do you have eyes in the divine families? asked Tang Wan or. After Evil Moon had given them this news, they had not mentioned it to anyone outside of this room. No. The heavenly sword gate is separated from the rest of the world. I have no connection with the divine families. As for how, you will know in the future. I came over specifically for this matter. Do not try to save him. There is no need for unnecessary sacrifices. Other than that, I want to see my apprentice and tell him a few things. Forgive my rudeness. I'll be leaving first, said Ling Yunzi. He bowed to the high priest and the others before taking his leave. Ling Yanzi's arrival gave them a boost in confidence. If both Li Shiang Suan and Ling Yanzi were so sure, perhaps there really was no need to worry. Meng Qi and the others also grew a little calmer. In order to not cause panic, Ling Er controlled Long Chen's clone, making a few appearances throughout the Martial Heaven continent to prevent rumors from spreading. After that, they began refining pills and cultivating once more, although they were worried about Long Chen. They had no choice but to focus on this. Since Long Chen's clone was still present, he had to still be alive. If he died, the wisp of soul essence he had used to create the clone would vanish, causing the clone to crumble. In order to not worry others, they locked down this information. Right now, all they could do was trust in Long Chen. Meng Qi and the others refined pills almost crazily. They had Xia Chen set up his strongest formations to absorb the power of these medicinal pills and assist everyone in the Dragonblood Legion in cultivation. Meng Qi knew that after capturing Long Chen, 
the divine families would do everything in their power to crash down upon the martial heaven continent as fast as possible. Right now, the only thing they could do to prevent such a thing was to advance as quickly as possible. Due to refining at such a crazy speed, they ended up with a large stock. Even the old man, Hu Jinying, and a few other trusted seniors were given some pills to power themselves. This was along with some of the more talented disciples of the Martial Heaven continent. No one cared what side effects these medicinal pills had. They did everything they could to survive. All Meng Chi and the others could do was refine these pills. As for the rest, they could only wait and see. Long Chen, do you still refuse to say anything? Let me tell you, Long Aotian already successfully advanced to the Emperor realm yesterday. Did you hear? He's already an emperor the heaven executioner taunted Long Chen angrily. It had been 20 days, but he had yet to pry open Long Chen's mouth. Moreover, he had used up every form of torture he had in his arsenal. For the first time, the torture skill he had complete confidence in had run into a steel board. None of his techniques could make Long Chen submit or rattle his will. Long Chen had countless wounds on his body, but no blood flowed out. That was because almost all his blood had bled out. His face was as pale as paper. Long Chen looked at the angry heaven executioner mockingly. So what? Does it have anything to do with me, idiot? Do you not know? They will all become sovereign soon. At that time, everyone you care about will be killed. Do you want to personally witness it? Sneered the heaven executioner. You're the idiot. You've used a hundred tricks. And you thought that this would be what rattled me? How naive, laughed Long Chen. The heaven executioner furiously struck Long Chen's stomach, causing him to faint. Fuck, he pisses me off. The heaven executioner furiously left as there was no way for him to create an opening in Long Chen's mind. Even threatening his family didn't work. As his soul was still unshackable, there was no way to read his soul. Long Chen slowly woke up with a sneer on his face. The flame energy has been gathering for so many days. It should be enough to open the primal chaos bead. Success or failure will be decided by this one move. Chapter 2738 The Eastern Wasteland Bell appears Long Chen closed his eyes. Above his danshan, a cluster of flames in the form of a human slowly formed hand seals. Buzz. As a result, Long Chen's danshan quivered and a ball of light opened. Using the power of the spirit flame. Long Chen finally managed to restore his connection to the primal chaos bead. With the primal chaos space open, he sighed with relief. With the primal chaos bead, he would be able to shatter the power of the formations binding him. However, he didn't immediately do that. What would be the point? He would still be trapped here. Once the formations were broken, the divine families would definitely sense it. At that time, an army of experts would arrive and he would still be unable to escape. After opening the primal chaos space, surprisingly, the first thing to react was the bronze fragment. That was a fragment of the eastern wasteland bell. It began to glow. With a thought, Long Chen summoned the bronze fragment, which began to rapidly flicker. At this moment, space fluctuated according to a certain rhythm as if transmitting something. Suddenly, an illusory figure appeared before Long Chen. Upon seeing it, Long Chen cried out in shock. That figure was the Eastern Wasteland Bell. It was no longer as broken down as it was when he had first met it. Although it was just an illusory image before him, its aura was grand and sacred. Eastern Wasteland Bell, what are you doing here? He, it really is fate. You came. The Eastern Wasteland Bell laughed with a trace of relief. Senior, save me said Long Chen excitedly. I'm the one who needs saving. What ice water washed over Long Chen? He angrily said. Look at what state I'm in. How am I supposed to save you? Long Chen had been tortured to the point where he no longer looked human. Without the slightest energy, he couldn't even save himself, let alone someone else. Don't panic. First listen to my explanation. These bastards concealed my body within eight hidden worlds. I've been searching for those fragments one by one during these years, but I'm still missing two fragments. One is the piece you have in your hand, while the other is sealed at the bottom of this world. There is an eternal azure vine, an immemorial life form absorbing its power there, said the eastern wasteland bell. As it spoke, 
Long Chen's bronze fragment slowly merged into its illusory image and faded into it. The image of the eastern wasteland bell grew more complete. Its aura also grew explosively. Even you, the leader of the five supreme divine items, are unable to deal with it, asked Long Chen in disbelief. Killing it would be simple, but there are two thorny problems. If I kill it, the energy of mine that it has been absorbing throughout all these years will be lost. Even if I obtain that fragment, I won't be able to regain all that power. The other problem is that it is protected by formations. If it is killed, it will immediately be sensed. That's why I'm currently pondering how to eliminate it. But now you're here. It really is perfect, said the Eastern Wasteland Bell. What can I possibly do against it? Bring out your black soil. I'll make it wither and slowly spit out all my energy. It won't alarm anyone this way. Is that eternal Azure Vine an idiot? It won't resist? It won't alert anyone? Asked Long Chen. No, it does not possess such a spirit. In any case, this method will definitely work. Bring out your black soil, said the Eastern Wasteland Bell. At the next moment, the black soil began to fly out, forming a current that flowed into the image of the Eastern Wasteland Bell. It emitted a ray of light to absorb all the black soil. That's enough. After an incense stick's worth of time, the Eastern Wasteland Bell cried out excitedly. It sent a rune into Long Chen's body. I still can't save you in this state. If you encounter danger, shatter that rune and I will try to help. However, it would be best if you can stall for some time. If I cannot recover all my power, I won't be able to defeat the Heaven Devastating Bracelet. Instructed the Eastern Wasteland Bell Novaloon.com Long Chen nodded. That fragment and the energy that had been absorbed from the Eternal Azure Vine were critically important to the Eastern Wasteland Bell, and thus also to the Martial Heaven Continent's survival. As a result, Long Chen definitely couldn't shatter that rune too early, or it would ruin all the efforts of the Eastern Wasteland Bell. After that, the image of the Eastern Wasteland Bell vanished. Long Chen didn't know in which corner of this world its true body was hiding. But it seemed that the Eastern Wasteland Bell had to have entered just recently, or it would have gone to find him for his black soil long ago. Relying on myself is better than relying on others. Long Chen couldn't help sighing. Seeing the Eastern Wasteland Bell had made him think that he was saved, but he hadn't expected that it also had its own troubles. Originally, Long Chen was planning on drawing all the formations binding him into the primal chaos space. He couldn't control it fully. But once foreign power attacked it, it would automatically strike back. He was confident that its power could shatter these formations. However, that would definitely send an alarm through the divine families. If he couldn't escape, it was meaningless. Long Chen decided to wait until the Heaven Executioner returned. Long Chen could capture him when he least expected it and force him to open the spatial gate. The arrival of the Eastern Wasteland Bell forced him to be passive. He had to wait for it to finish. Time passed day by day. The Heaven Executioner always returned every few days to torture him. During this period, Long Chen almost killed him several times, but he still endured. The Heaven Executioner didn't sense the change in Long Chen, but he was growing more and more explosive. Long Chen's unshackable will made him despair. On this day, the Heaven Executioner returned once more. However, he didn't immediately start with his tortures this time. It's the 29th day today. The deadline is tomorrow. And it is your final chance. I'm going to tell you some news that you won't like. Long Aeotian has become a sovereign along with the heavenly geniuses of the other worlds. As tomorrow is the day of the assault on the martial heaven continent. Its destruction is already set in stone. Everyone related to you will die. Those people that you're close to. Especially your women will definitely find death to be a luxury. The Lord Saint has said that as long as you tell us your secrets, he can spare your women. You don't need to answer me right away. I'll give you one day to consider it. If you still don't give me any satisfactory answers when I return tomorrow, I'll execute the death torture on you. The Heaven Executioner left after saying that. Long Chen's expression was gloomy. Was their cultivation speed really so fast? Eastern Wasteland Bell. How much longer? Asked Long Chen. This was no good. They had no more time. Almost. Trust me. We'll make it. Answered the Eastern Wasteland Bell. The next day arrived far too quickly. At this moment, 
The Heaven Executioner glared at Long Chen. The battle has started. There is no longer a use for you. Chapter 2739 Profiting from disaster are you going to speak? Roared the Heaven Executioner. His patience was gone. Long Chen had too many secrets on him. Hence, even now, the divine families refused to give up. However, the only one capable of making Long Chen open his mouth was the Heaven Executioner, and even he had failed. If he had failed, then there was no point in others even trying. As a result, the Divine Families had given the Heaven Executioner the order to try one final push, and if it still failed, all they could do was kill Long Chen. Although Long Chen was caught and trapped here, just the idea of him living made them uneasy. Back then, you crippled my Danshan but I still managed to grow to this level. Do you feel like there's any chance that I'll submit to you? Sneered Long Chen. Then I'll just cripple you once more. The Heaven Executioner furiously unleashed a palm on Long Chen's Danshan. Primal Chaos Bead. Someone's attacking you. You better kill him. Long Chen prayed inside. He had successfully baited the Heaven Executioner into attacking his Danshan. Boom. Long Chen's Danshan rumbled. The primal chaos bead didn't react, but as 108,000 stars appeared, not good, Long Chen's expression changed. You have this many astral spaces. The heaven executioner was surprised. A star diagram had appeared within Long Chen's dantian and manifested before him. Eastern Wasteland Bell, what are you doing? I can't stall any longer, roared Long Chen inside. Close. Just the final step remains, responded the Eastern Wasteland Bell also at a critical juncture. Unfortunately, both of them were at critical junctures. If the Eastern Wasteland Bell came over now, everything would be for naught. Long Chen had the most difficult choice in front of him. He glared at the Heaven Executioner, and the Heaven Executioner smiled sinisterly. No wonder you have so much power. So your cultivation path is different from everyone else's. A total of 108,000 astral spaces. It really is hard to imagine. Just how strong is your world energy? Fortunately, you didn't get to continue growing. With this kind of foundation, even just reaching the Emperor Realm might be enough for you to be completely unrivaled. How unfortunate for you that this is your fate. You were fated to die to my hands. Whether it was when you were first born or today, you never managed to escape my grasp. You have so many stars. Crushing them one by one sounds like a fun idea. I'll try it. The Heaven Executioner finally saw some hope of success. So he smiled excitedly. Long Chen's furious gaze only stimulated him. Long Chen clenched his fists. Strike back or endure? If the Eastern Wasteland Bell couldn't fully recover, it wouldn't be able to handle the Heaven Devastating Bracelet. The Eastern Wasteland Bell had told him that the Heaven Devastating Bracelet was their most terrifying enemy. If they couldn't deal with it, the Martial Heaven Continent would be destroyed no matter what. However, if he endured, his stars would be destroyed. That would affect the power of the Nine Star Hegemon Body Art, and he might even be crippled. Long Chen was caught in a painful dilemma. Boom. Just as Long Chen was hesitating, the Heaven Executioner formed a hand seal. A hand appeared within the star map in Long Chen's body, grabbing one of the stars and crushing it. The star exploded causing Long Chen to let out a furious roar. This was a humiliation, and a wave of anger that he could not suppress exploded out of him. His killing intent condensed into a solid form. He, good, now it's interesting. You refused to make a sound before. A wooden log isn't interesting. Scream some more. The Heaven Executioner grew more excited seeing this reaction. However, just as he was pleased by this, a majestic energy surged out of Long Chen's Danshan. In that instant, space and time seemed to freeze. The Heaven Executioner was shocked to find that he couldn't move. Most terrifying of all, the power of Heaven and Earth had vanished along with the laws of the Heavenly Deos. He couldn't sense any Heavenly Dao energy. What the Heaven Executioner was terrified. He didn't know what had happened. The power of the outside world had vanished, and even his own world energy was sealed. He had fallen from a peak expert to an ant in an instant. Mist surged out of Long Chen's Danshan, and the formations binding Long Chen's body turned to dust. But no alarm rang out. Even the destroyed formation runes were unable to spread. It was as if the world was frozen. 
the only thing moving was a cyclone around Long Chen's Danshan. So that's the case. It seems that I need to thank you for helping me inadvertently open the gate to the Nine Star Hegemon body art. Long Chen smiled oddly at the terrified Heaven Executioner. One of his 108,000 stars had been broken. Due to that, it created space for the rest of his 108,000 stars to start moving. Before this, his star map was like a game board covered in pieces. Since the board was full, there was nowhere for any of the pieces to move. However, once one piece was removed, it created space for the rest of the pieces to move. Minutes ago, his star map was dead. Now, it was alive. His 108,000 stars began to move on their own. And as they did, endless power filled Long Chen's body. Only when something is imperfect is there room to grow. Something that is perfect is dead. Because the moon wanes, it also waxes. Only by being imperfect is it possible to manifest the changes of the Tao Long Chen instantly comprehended this. The enlightenment that the sovereigns had tried to pass down to him through their experiences and techniques became clear. Long Chen reached out and tore off the heaven executioner's arm. In his hand was a violet jade pendant. Seeing that jade pendant, Long Chen's expression changed. The heaven executioner sneered. He, although I couldn't ring the alarm. The spiritual imprint inside of my soul calming jade has been erased. In other words, you are trapped in this world. It will take years for you to find the spatial note of this world. By that time, the martial heaven continent will have long since been destroyed. Furthermore, when they see that the channel to this world has been shot, they'll know what happened. They'll destroy this entire world along with you just to ensure that you have no chance of survival. Ha ha ha. You can't escape Long Chen punched the Heaven Executioner's Danshan. As a result, the Heaven Executioner coughed up a mouthful of blood, and cracks spread throughout his body. He almost exploded from this one punch from Long Chen. Oh, sorry, I was just trying to cripple your Danshan, but I used a bit too much power. Fortunately, you didn't die. That would be letting you off far too easily. I've memorized all your techniques. Let's switch positions and just see how tough your bones are. After crippling the Heaven Executioner, a rune on Long Chen's palm lit up. The blue-haired Li Linger appeared. Li Linger, you should know what to do. Big brother, don't worry. I won't let him die. I'll make sure he lives a life worse than death. I'll return double the pain he made you suffer. Li Linger took out a small lightning blade and stabbed it into the Heaven Executioner's chest. The method. Angle and positioning were all the same as the Heaven Executioner's technique. A-H-H the Heaven Executioner let out a miserable scream, his body quivering in pain. At this moment, Long Chen smiled. That scream was like music to his ears. Li Linger, bring him with you. Let's go find the Eastern Wasteland Bell. Just as Long Chen said this, the void shuddered. The Eastern Wasteland Bell appeared before him. Chapter 2740 Core of the Starfield I'm here. The Eastern Wasteland Bell's true body appeared in front of Long Chen. Although it only looked to be 3 meters tall, its dull color had changed. It had gone from drab bronze to dark gold. Countless carvings were on top of it. There were flowers and birds, fish and bugs, mountains and seas. Divine light flowed within it. It was as if its body was its own world. The Eastern Wasteland Bell had gathered all the fragments of its body and all its power. With its complete body, it contained boundless divine might. How amazing. Long Chen couldn't help being emotionally moved when he sensed the boundless power of the Eastern Wasteland Bell. As expected of the leader of the five supreme divine items, its aura was stunning. It's thanks to you. I finally recovered. We'll be able to fight against the heaven devastating bracelet again said the Eastern Wasteland Bell with burning battle intent. Back then, if it wasn't for the betrayal of the Master of the Southern Sea Zither, we wouldn't have lost so miserably. This time, we will end everything with the Divine Families and the Other Worlds. Senior, can you tell me what is going on for the Divine Families and the Other Worlds to attack the Martial Heaven Continent? What do they hope to gain? Asked Long Chen. Li Linger, continue, but have him shut up. Long Chen suddenly turned to Li Linger because the Heaven Executioner's pig-like screams were quite loud. Long Chen hadn't expected the Heaven Executioner, the master of all kinds of tortures, to be so weak against his own tortures. 
He fainted many times but was forcibly woken by Li Linger. The Heaven Executioner's various techniques were all replicated by Li Linger. She returned all the tortures that he had used on Long Chen Novaloon.com although Long Chen was extremely refreshed by the Heaven Executioner's screams. He was getting fed up. As a result, Li Linger made it so that the Heaven Executioner didn't even have the right to scream. A net of lightning formed in the air, binding him. The Heaven Executioner's eyes almost popped out of their sockets, and his body was constantly twitching violently, but he couldn't make a sound. Long Chen sat down. Having just escaped his bindings, he still had many wounds. There was no way he could fight in this state. He focused on recovering, while the Eastern Wasteland Bell explained some of the history of the Martial Heaven Continent. The battle is about to start, so most karmic taboos are no longer relevant. I will tell you this, their goal has always been to obtain the core of the starfield. This refers to the heart of the starfield, the origin from which a world is born and grows, the existence that allows all the life forms between heaven and earth to evolve. It is the heart of the martial heaven continent. The heaven devastating bracelet is the only thing capable of sucking away this core. Thus, in order to protect the martial heaven continent, the top priority is being able to fight off the Heaven Devastating Bracelet. Doesn't the Heaven Devastating Bracelet belong to the Sea Demon Race? I've pretty much exterminated the Sea Demon Race. Can someone else control the Heaven Devastating Bracelet? Asked Long Chen. No, you're wrong. The Heaven Devastating Bracelet has no master, and it will not follow anyone. It is an immortal item from a higher plane. It has only one mission and that is to destroy the martial heaven continent. The power it requires is the blood chi, spiritual energy, and resentment produced from slaughter. When the battle starts, whether it is the invaders dying to our defense, or the invaders slaughtering us, the heaven devastating bracelet will still get stronger. Once it has enough power, it will activate the formation to take away the core of the starfield. That is the moment that this world will be destroyed. What is this core? What is the point? Furthermore, with so many different forces fighting for it, how are they supposed to split it? They seem to be working together without any backstabbing. Even the experts of the other world seemed aware that the divine families were traitors of the continent. That must mean that they have some existence backing them. Furthermore, the one thing that I truly can't understand is why did the sovereigns not say anything? I refuse to believe that they didn't realize this, said Long Chen. The Eastern Wasteland Bell sighed. This is a trap, a giant, heaven encompassing trap. You can consider the core of the starfield as a treasure that can give birth to a new starfield world. However, once it has been taken, it will no longer be the old world. To us in the mortal world, this core doesn't have any meaning, but it is useful to those who have ascended. Or perhaps I should say it is useful to gods. They can create a world of life forms that are their believers who will give them an unending stream of faith energy. Perhaps you will understand once you ascend. As for your point about there being a backer behind them, you are correct. But no one knows who or what it is. That relates to the higher plane. It might even have to do with competing gods. The reason that the five sovereigns didn't reveal this to the world is because this is all a trap. The board was set in motion, encompassing the invading world, as well as the martial heaven continent. You think that you just happened to be caught and trapped here, and just happened to encounter me? No, there are not that many coincidences in this world. The day that you set foot into the cultivation world, your fate deviated from its original path. The martial heaven continent arranged for you to reach this point. If we consider this battle of fates as a game board, then you are the martial heaven continent's destined gamma breaker. The martial heaven continent has bound its fate to you. You are its only hope. As for why the Martial Heaven Continent would choose you, you are the only one who knows. Aren't you the head of the five supreme divine items of the Martial Heaven Continent? You came into existence at the same time as the continent. I always thought that you could represent the Martial Heaven Continent, said Long Chen with surprise. The five supreme divine items are the companion divine items of the Martial Heaven Continent. Let me put it to you this way. When the Martial Heaven Continent was born, we were also born by the Creator. The Creator, Long Chen's heart leaked. The Eastern Wasteland Bell didn't reply to this question. 
you can view the martial heaven continent as a monarch, while we are its protectors. Protecting the martial heaven continent is our duty. If we die, then the martial heaven continent will continue to live. But if the martial heaven continent is destroyed, we will also be destroyed. Everyone has been drawn into the board. No one can stay out. Long Chen, if you want to save the people beside you, then it will depend on the survival of the martial heaven continent. Long Chen nodded. He didn't feel resentment toward the martial heaven continent. Instead, he felt great admiration toward all five sovereigns. Even if he was a game piece, he was willing to carry out his role. Even if he died in the process, he would not blame the continent. As he listened to the Eastern Wasteland Bell divulge the secrets of the Martial Heaven continent, he rapidly healed. Although his injuries were so severe that he could almost be considered half crippled, his new star map that had come to life was unleashing endless energy, rapidly restoring his spiritual yuan and spiritual strength. As for the primal chaos space's life energy, it rapidly flowed throughout his body, restoring his flesh and blood. An hour later, he had recovered about 90%. He finally stood. The violently twitching, frothing at the mouth heaven executioner lay on the ground. At this moment, Long Chen pointed a single finger. Blood splashed and a hole appeared in the heaven executioner's head. His body instantly became limp. 